listening, where are you logging in from? Give us a quick hi on the chat and let us know how you're doing today. Um, loving, loving seeing these beautiful faces. And if you do have, hello, hi, hi, Betty, I see you, I see you, Betty. Um, if you do have the opportunity to pop on your video camera, I would love that because I love to see the beautiful faces. And I say every single time, you know, seeing your face, first of all, makes the speaker's job easier because we love speaking to people. We are in the business of people. So definitely do that. And it's like they're communicating to you on a one-on-one -on -one basis when they see your face. It's like they're really talking to you. So if you do have the ability to put your camera on today, please do that. I see you, Nushi. I see you, Nushi. I see you, Dana. Who else have I got? Maria Stella doing the translation for Italian on the Portuguese channel. We've also got Imola um, doing the translation for the Hungarian team today as well. Hello, Lydia. I see you logging in from Africa. Valeria, Miguel, all the way from Italy. Maria, Anita, Adina from Sibiu, Annika from Sweden, um, Reka, Angela, Irene, Julie, Annabella, Edith, welcome. Georgiana, Elena from Limassol, great to have you on here. Roland, Anna, Zahira from the Netherlands, Evelyn, Mario, Martin, Ziggy, one of our speakers for today. Excited to hear from her. Rose, who else have we got? We got Henry. Wow, didn't he do a great job on the last Super Saturday that we had? So we got people logging on from three different continents. I've just seen that Robin is here from Texas. So good for you, Robin. Bright and early in the morning in Texas, and he's right on here. Stefan, great to have you on here as well. And so guys, let's um, let's get to it today, shall we? So the first thing, the first thing that I want to make happen is I want you guys to make sure you've got a pen and paper. Okay, so that is the very first thing that I need you to do. So if you've got a pen and paper, just type in the chat that you've got a pen and paper ready. So if you can do that, I would love that. I'm just having a look. I'm just having a look. Who's got their pen and paper ready? Because, fantastic, Robin, setting the example all the way from Texas. Um, why do I say that? Do you know what? If you've got a pen and paper, first of all, less distractions on your mobile phone if you're taking notes over there because you haven't got your pop-ups coming on. Second of all, the strongest ink, the weakest ink is better than the strongest memory. That almost messed that one up, hey. Right, and so what, what is today all about? So every single month here in Europe, we do a virtual Super Saturday. So there are some countries right now in Europe where we are doing virtual, um, sorry, not virtual, like in-person, in-person, um, how do you say it? In-person um, trainings, in-person trainings, almost lost my words there. So we're doing in-person trainings in some countries, but not all of them just yet. But what we are doing for everybody is a virtual training every single month so that you guys can really have the current information, the tools, the how-tos, the skills, um, the mindset on how to build this business for the absolute best. So I'm just making sure that we've got um, our co-host ready, which we do. And I'm super excited about the very first speaker. You guys are in for an absolute treat today. We've been blessed here in Europe to have not only a top rank of the company speak to us, but somebody who's been in network marketing for 15 years. He's somebody that I've been admiring, following, learning from for the past 10 years that I've been part of this industry. And what I absolutely love about this person is they're constantly in the field. They're constantly doing the work. They're not just one of those people that's done it in the past and they're sitting back. No, they're building right now. They're doing exactly what they need to do to get to the next level, even though they're already at the level of red diamonds. It's the highest rank out of all the people on this call today. It's the absolute highest rank. We're literally starting with a bang. This person before network marketing used to be an anesthesiologist. So I also love that, you know, so many times in network marketing, we think we've got to approach the people that don't know where they're going in life, or perhaps, you know, it's the, the people that have got the jobs that aren't a kind of casual work, you know, they're not the PhD, the doctorate jobs, but he's somebody that literally demonstrates to us that anybody of any level with already achieved success is open to a model like this. And best of all, what I love is 
him being in this industry allowed him to make a dream happen. It allowed him to be able to adopt a son, something that him and his wife had always, always wanted. And network marketing gave him the freedom to be able to go and spend um, quality time with his adopted son. So I am so excited for today. Um, Troy, are you ready to take it away for us? I think I am. Thank you for that, Melanie. I appreciate that. Welcome, everybody. You hear me okay, Melanie? You see me okay? Yes. yes. All right, good. Had a little tech technical difficulty right here at the end, and so uh, just got on. So anybody, anyway, welcome to everybody. Thanks for having me on. Uh, again, my name's Troy Brown. I'm in Oklahoma. Uh, it's uh, 9 o'clock in the morning here. I don't know what time it is where you're at. I think it's uh, afternoon where you're, most of you are at. But... Um, I couldn't be more excited. You know, I just, I'll tell you this. I was just, uh, just at the secret home office about uh, a week ago going through, you know, we're ending the year of 2022, getting ready to start 2023. And as you know, it's times of uh, personal uh, reflection that we should all have and setting goals and uh, all those things that we do at the first of the year. Well, that's no different with secret. That's uh we were kind of getting things in place. Where where are we headed as a company? What are we doing? And uh, you know, I always I always look at this this way. You know, for a secret, if you think a secret, um, you know, it's been around for twenty years. The company of secret, you know, and they did in the retail space, in the kiosk malls, billions of dollars of sales of our product, billions of dollars of sales of the 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 skincare, just in in retail. Then they brought on the healthcare stuff and uh, or, uh, the nutrition and they've sold millions and millions and millions and millions and millions, hundreds of millions of dollars in health and nutrition. And uh, when I came on and a lot of you came on about, you know, some of us two years ago, some of us a year ago, some of us here in the last couple of weeks. But when I came on two years ago, here's what was crazy is that this company that has done billions of dollars in retail and then switch their model to go into the relationship marketing. They've done hundreds of millions per year in relationship marketing. When we came in and we brought some things to the table, travel and some other things, Isaac and the, and the Ben Shavat family and all the partners of Secret were like, okay, this is a pivot we, we not only want to do, but we need to do. If we wanna go from 200, $300 million a year company to two, three billion dollars a year company. We want to pivot here and we think we got something. And, and so when I, I'm telling you all this to say this, you know, this is a company that's 20 years old, but in my mind, this is a company that's about a year and a half old, really, because we made that pivot with the club secret and the travel and bringing everything together and the membership and all that kind of thing that we got. And so now we're on this, this path of, we are in a, in my mind, a new company in, in formulation. The, but it's a new company that's doing two, three hundred billion dollars a year in volume already. See, that's that's pretty strong. I, I hope you're catching that. See, there's there are literally thousands and thousands and thousands of startups in our industry every year. Every year. And most of them don't make it through the first year. For sure they don't make it through the second year. So that's why you don't you don't see on the list of companies, you don't see thousands and thousands of companies because they're here and gone. And so to be here at Secret and be here with a guy like Isaac Ben Shabbat and be able to go in last week and sit down with a company and say, what are our goals and see the vision that we have. And let me just tell you, that meeting last week, um, I don't know, I've been doing this for about 17 years and, and been full-time in the industry for about 15 and a half years. Um, I don't know if I've ever been this excited after I seen what I saw and, 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 you know, people say, don't future people. You know what? I'm going to future you. I'm going to future you a little bit. I'm going to let you see a little bit into the future of what I saw. And I'm not going to give you details, but I'm going to tell you this. I think everything that we've been trying to bring together and we brought together some cool stuff. If you think about where, well, if I think about where we were when I got in two years ago, wow. 
compared to now. But I can't wait to see where we are next year when we're having the same call at the same time to see where this company is because I know the things that are coming. I know what's coming product-wise. I know what's coming travel-wise. I know what's coming income-wise. I know all those kind of things. And you will too very soon. Very, very, very soon you'll know. And so I'm excited, man. And so what do I, a guy like me, what have I, you know, 15 years and full time in this industry, walked away from my anesthesia practice. I was making more money with this, this ideal than I was anesthesia after about a year and a half in the business and adopted a baby. As Melanie said, I adopted a baby. Uh, my wife and I did about that time. And so we decided, Hey, we want to raise him full time. We want to do this full time. And so we, uh, I retired from anesthesia at the age in my early forties. Now, I don't know about where you're at, but here in America, the highest paid profession in America is anesthesia and has been for years. And I don't say that to boast or brag. I say that to say this, this industry, if you'll treat it like a business, if you'll treat it like something that's worth millions of dollars from the day you get in. So you get in for a few hundred bucks, you get in for whatever you get in. And a lot of us treat it like a few hundred bucks. But when I saw this thing working, when I saw that, hey, there is an income coming in, it wasn't, wasn't staggering money in the beginning. It, it, my first check was a couple of hundred bucks, I think. My first month, I didn't make much money, but here's what it did for me. Gave me this belief that, man, I got my hands on something that can go. And, and, and it's not, you know, back then it was a startup. I was lucky. We were lucky back then because it was a startup. Chances of us surviving wasn't very good, but you want to know why we survived? It wasn't because we had everything in place 17 years ago. It, we didn't have hardly anything in place. We didn't have any travel in place. Our website didn't work. Our booking engine didn't work. Nothing worked. You want to know why we went from zero that day when I got in? We were zero volume in the company. And we went to right at a billion dollars a year. You want to know why? It wasn't because we had everything figured out. It's because we had an idea. We had this vision and we had a lead and we had some leaders that said, we're going to do this come hell or high water. We're going to do it. And we got back to back and we didn't waver. We didn't, we didn't shake. We didn't have to guess where our leaders were. So when I look at Melanie and Efrosini, I don't have to guess. See, I don't have to guess where they're at. And I don't think, I don't have to guess. Are they playing around with it? I know where they're at and getting back to back with each other is what it's really about and saying, listen, I'm willing to go through the ups and downs to get to the mountaintop. I am willing to do that. And that's what we did. And we took it to a billion dollars. Now, why am I saying that? Because again, we're two years into the process. I don't even, I don't even count it two years, really about a year and a half into the process. And so when I look at where we're at right now, and that we're setting on a foundation of two to $300 million a year in volume. That's what we came in on. Companies found it's solid, it's foundational. Now my job is to go and do the work that I'm supposed to do. What is my work? And that's what I wanna to talk to you about today. It's what is our work? What are we supposed to do? See, I, I went in and I talked to corporate this week, but that's not my job. They just wanted to hear from a, a couple of field leaders so we could get on, everybody's on the same page going forward. What do we need? What do we want? Okay, we're gonna make it happen. Now, I trust that they're gonna make that happen. Are they gonna be perfect? Absolutely not. There's no company in the world perfect. They, they, they get everything right, right away. But here's what I'll tell you. They're consistent. They do it. They care. They don't, that's what I'm wanting. That's what I'm needing so that I can go do what I need to do. And I, again, I'm telling you all this because sometimes the battle is not how to, it's not, you know, how do I do this? It's about, will you, this battle is about, will you right between our ears? Will we do the activities on a consistent basis to make this thing get to the next level? Is that, that that's where I wanted to be. And that's see, when I did anesthesia, I was working 80 to hundred hours a week on call 24 seven. I didn't have time to do the, anything like this. I almost didn't do it because I said in my mind, I said to the person that invited me to take a look at this 17 years ago, I don't have time. I, I, it looks cool. Let's, yeah, travel. Yeah, travel looks cool. I don't have time. I almost didn't come on board. Think about the mistake. Because here's what happened after that. 
I retired from anesthesia, got all my time back. I wasn't working 80 to 100 hours a week anymore. I was, I got all my time back. I got, I got to travel and see the world God created. I got to take my wife, my wife and son on a lot of those trips. I got to meet a lot of cool people and I made a ton of money. Millions and millions and millions of dollars during that process. And so you're like, is this really worth it? If you're, if you're out there for the first time, you're sitting here, you're sitting in this living room. You don't even know what this really is. You don't know why you're sitting here. You don't know who the goofy guy from Oklahoma is. Here's what, who I am. I'm here to show you that I was just a regular guy. Yeah, I did anesthesia. Okay, cool. I'm just a regular guy. First guy in my family to ever finish school. Nothing special about me except for I'm willing to go to work. I'm willing to turn, get this thing focused and not gripe about the petty stuff. See, because there's going to be petty stuff, I promise you. There's going to be things in your business. Guess what? Other businesses out there, they got petty stuff too. They do. So I put myself in a frame of mind 17 years ago to say, let me go do this and get rid of the petty stuff. Let me get focused right here, right here. I'm going to get focused. And here's what I did. People said, you must have, wow, you must have just worked it hard. Listen, I was working 80 to 100 hours a week. Here's what I did. I said in the beginning, I think I can carve out three to five hours a week. Didn't know where I was going to get it because remember, I was on call 24-7. So I may come to a meeting with you. My phone goes off and I got to go because there's somebody in the OR. There's somebody in the ER. Somebody's in trouble. I have to go now. I'm on call. I got to be there. So, but I thought I could, I could carve out three to five hours, but here's what I thought. I don't know when those three to five hours are going to be. I got to be flexible in what I'm doing. I got to, I got to be consistent with my time. I'm going to give that three to five hours a week, but I don't know where it's going to come. And when I get there, I can't play around. I can't get there and, and chat and do this and do that. I got to be on a mission. See, I think that helped me a lot in the beginning that I was on a mission. I couldn't mess around. And I would start every meeting by, Hey, they're waiting for me at the OR and the phone's going to probably ring here in a little bit. So we got to get going. Let me show you what we're doing. And I would do a quick presentation. Are you in or out? And they would get in because I was moving. See, people want to join somebody that's moving. People want to join somebody that's excited. People want to join somebody that's having success. If you're doing, oh, I'm kicking it around, a little hobby I'm doing, I'm playing around with this thing, guess what? You're not going to attract the kind of people. Now, I'm not saying you can't do that and, and still be a part of our deal. Yeah, you can. I'm talking to you if you're sitting here on a Saturday Given your free time, because I'm I'm assuming most of you have, you, you're off on Saturday. You're sitting here with us with your free time, and you're wanting to know how to take it from casual to, I want to do this thing, man. I want to, I want enough money to be coming in that I get my time back. I get enough money coming in that I can bring my family on places too and go see the world God created. I want enough money coming in that I don't have to worry week to week, check to check. I want enough money coming in that I just have that peace of mind every week. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be cool to have peace of mind? Not worrying about the next deal. Not worrying about, I got to go in. Again, I'm not bashing your job, but I, I want to ask you, if you're being real, you're sitting by yourself. You don't have to, nobody has to hear it. Nobody, you ever hate your job? You ever hate that person that's telling you what to do, when to do? I did, Listen, I own the practice. But there were times I despised the job. I loved anesthesia. Uh, but there were times I despised the job. You know how good it is to wake up when you want to wake up? And to go do things when you want to go do them? And when you see a trip that's out and you say, you know what, I'd like to go on that trip. You know what, this week that happened to me. A friend of mine, they're going on the cruise. Get away cruise. They, they found this incredible cruise. You guys know the cruises, they're all inclusive. That's floating buffet. He and his wife said, hey, why don't you and the family, why don't you guys go with us? I'm like, man, I'm kind of busy. But then I thought, I'm in my build season, but I got it. This was a new couple, a friend of mine, and they want to go on a trip. Guess what? That one counts. In the beginning, I'm going to go on trips that I can build relationships with people. That's what, and, and then when I get, when I get this thing to a point where, where money doesn't matter, time doesn't matter, guess what? I'll go on the trips I, that, that just are crazy. And I've done a bunch of those crazy trips. 
I'll go to I'll go to St. Lucia. This is I'll go to St. Lucia. And I'll get a private house, a house, a, a villa. It's not a house, it's a villa. And in fact, if you go get the book, Top 50 Villas in the World, the house I stayed in is on, uh, in that book. Top 50 Villas in the World. We got there, we had a chef. Ever had, had a chef in the house. This house was incredible on a point of St. Lucia, the whole point, nobody around us. A pool as big as a, the pool of this house was, it looked, and I'm not kidding you, it looked like a hotel swimming pool. It was so big and it was beautiful. This house was beautiful. Private gate, entryway. Every day they bring scuba people in, into the pool to clean the pool every day. Scuba to make sure it was this pristine clean. We, oh, you know what? We wanted to go out on the ocean. Private boat came with the house. Go get in a private boat with the skipper. Got our own skipper. See, I'll do the work today. I'll go and I'll do the trips. I'll do what I, I want to do the trips that are here. I want to build relationships. I want to do the, but there's a day that comes that if I'll do it long enough and hard enough, I can put those things in my mind, those big dreams that I always wanted to do, that I see people on TV doing. You know, I can do it. I can do it. But I can get my ass to work right now. That's what I kept saying to myself. If this industry lets people do stuff like that, and it does, the industry's fickle. It's funny. You gotta, you gotta be careful. Startups every week. Everybody's got a new idea. Once you get something going, everybody's gonna hit you up every week. You know what? They don't hit me up. You wanna know why? They know where I'm at. I promise you, they know where I'm at. I'm loyal, and because I'm loyal, Isaac's loyal. He's loyal to you. Get this thing done. So. All that said, two to three hours a week, I would go do that. And that turned into, oh, I got a little time back because it, I was making money here. You know what? I could afford to bring another anesthesia because I own the practice. You know, it's a, I got to run a business there. I can't have too many people doing anesthesia. It's got to be a balance, right? If I do, it'll break the company. If I if I undo that balance, well, now I'm making more money. So I can, I can take some of my money that I'm making at anesthesia, give it back, get my time back, go work some more in this business. You see how this works? Then, it, then the money got bigger and bigger in this business. Guess what? I gave a little more of my time back. Now I'm not working 80 to 100 hours a week. Maybe I'm working 60 hours a week. Got that. That's 20 hours I got back. I could do something with that. Started building my business. You know what? Year and a half. I'm making more money with this. I am anesthesia. Adopt a baby. Dream. The dream's here. See, but I treated it like a business from the beginning. And that's where I'm going with this right now. See, if you're brand new, if you've been here for a while, Time to look at this thing and time to put dollar signs on it and time to say, this is worth a million dollars to me. More. This is worth a million dollars to me. But I got to treat it like that right now. Well, what does that mean? The activity. I'm, um, Melly, I'm going to try to share the screen on, on my computer here. I got two, You're just so you know, yeah. I got two, uh, two names on there. It's, um, let me see if I can share here right here. Yeah. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right. So what I want to talk about is this. Um, that slide has nothing to do with what I'm going to talk about. But what I want to talk about is this. Where we're at right now as a as a group. We're in December, and and uh, you know I know you guys have holidays, and we have holidays right now. And it's people always talk about holidays are tough to build through. Well, here's what I found. I mean, holidays can be tough. And, but it's, it's, if you lose any kind of momentum, if you don't have something going, cause the holiday, if you're dead steel right now, cause you haven't been doing the activity, it's hard to get the holidays going, but you can do it. Okay. I, I'm being honest with you. It's hard to get it going. If you're at a dead steel right now, you haven't been doing the activity. You haven't been bam famine. We're going to talk about that here in a little bit, but right now, here's why I, I build hard through the holidays. This is what I've seen my whole career and it hadn't changed here at secret. In the holidays, people slow down. And what's great about Secret is we do have um, things to help speed it up. We have, you know, people are buying presents. So guess what everybody in my family is getting for Christmas this year? My my aunts, my uncles, my mom, my dad, everybody in my family, guess what they're getting? Secret products. Every one of them, okay? Now, I might grab a little something else for them too, but they're all getting secret products, okay? 
So we got that to boost, and, and I, they always love them when I give it to them. Every time, they're like, oh, man, we, I was almost out of this one. I, I'm so glad you gave me this, this part again. And I'll give them something new every year, but I'm going to give them staples every year. right? I'm going to give them things they want. So we got that. You know, we had Black Friday that happened. That was huge. So that helps us go through the holiday. But I don't want you to think about this surviving the holiday. I want you to think about thriving in the holidays. Because here's what I've seen happen is that Jeff and I, my, my buddy Jeff, when we first got involved 17 years ago, we saw the holidays, just everything come to a dead stop. And the next year we're like, we're not letting that happen again. You know, because what happens is it comes to a dead stop if you're not doing anything. And then January one comes, and everybody makes new year's resolutions. Everybody in the world's gonna make them. And they all, now they wanna talk, okay? But now we're at a dead stop because we have nothing going. And so now we gotta, start making our calls, January 1, January 2, January 3, we're trying to, then they say, okay, I'll meet next week. So now we're two weeks into it. We're, we're two weeks into January and we haven't met with anybody yet. And then we, you know, we just don't have anybody working with us because we didn't do anything through the holiday. So it's just us. And we get this slow build. Well, guess when the big, big money starts coming in? That time from January to about June. Wow, it's feast. It is feast time in every network marketing company. It's feast. But here's what Jeff and I found out the next year. We did this by mistake, but we it's been part of our, our business for now for 17 years. We just don't not do this. We work hard through the holidays. We push hard. And that what we found out is we could lap the field. And what I mean when I say lap the field, it, let's say you're a you're a bronze right now. You're a royale. And you got these people you're looking at that are uh whatever they are they could be rubies they could be platinums they could be golds they could be silvers whatever they are you're looking at them and you're kind of like wow i wish i could get where they are well i promise you this happens some of those people are not doing the activity they need to do in the holidays so guess what they're coming back towards you they're coming back towards you okay you come up with them and then what happens in january february march it's a slingshot effect it's like you've been in, in the holidays, you've been pulling the slingshot back. You've been working and working and working and working and working. And then January hits, boom, and it just slingshot past everybody. That's, that's what happens in this business. So every year, man, I just, I just got back from a media, I just did. I'm on the phone every day. I'm doing these things every day. I'm, I'm working right now. This is the time to work. This is the time to go get this thing done. Okay, so that that part. Well, you're like Troy, but what is what am I supposed to be doing? You're talking about doing the work. I want to know what to do. Here's here's what I'm going to get into that. So I I want you to simplify this process. Like this is what I do. This is what I teach. It's uh, and I hope this is what Efrosini and Melanie. I hope they're okay with this. This is what I do. I want to simplify things. I think too many times we we complicate things. We make it hard. We bring somebody brand new on. Just be honest with me if you've done this. You bring somebody brand new in. They don't know what they're getting into. They came, they saw it, they said, okay, they buy a package, whatever they do, they're in. Now they're in. And by the way, we do packages. I, I, I teach packages. When you're launching somebody, that's what I teach. Simplicity, packages, okay? And I don't know if the packages are the same in Europe or that they are here, but packages. That's what I'm doing to simplify the process. So they get in, but they don't know what they're in. They're not in. But once you get them in, you're excited because they got in. You're like, woo! And then you start telling them about this. Hey, you gotta you, this. You gotta get on this call tomorrow. And then you got. And then they. Hey, read this book. And hey, listen to this audio. And hey, uh, make this list. And that you overwhelm people. We overwhelm people. Now, hey, get to the training. This is all in the first hour. We're excited, so we're telling them all, because we're trying to, we want them to know what we know, because we're excited, and we're trying to get them to do what we do, and we're, we're all excited. But let's simplify. Let's be excited. Let's be excited, but let's get focused on what we want them to do right now. What are, what are the activities that I want? Can, you, can we all agree there are activities out there that people do every day thinking that they're building their business that doesn't build their business? They're organizing things. They're printing out things. They're making a PowerPoint. They're making a training. They're 
No, I'm, I, there's certain things that, that build our business and simplify the process, right? Here's the process of when somebody gets, all I'm worried about is how many times will that person start showing it on a, on a consistent basis, showing the presentation. I got to get him there. How do I get him there? Because the only thing that really matters is getting people in front of it, showing them the deal. That's really bottom line. That's what matters. So what I'm worried about is what can I do right now to get that person to do more times? That's it. And I got to simplify the process. I got to make this easy. I got to get some money in their pocket right away so they get that belief check. So they know. Remember I told you when I got in, I got a check and I was like, hey, this really works. If I hadn't got that first check, I wouldn't be here today. The check wasn't very big but it was a belief check. Wow. I did. This is all I did. And I got this check. If this happens, cause I started understanding how this leverage comes. If those people showed some people and I get to overwrite, wow, this could get pretty good. So I told myself, let me see how good it can get in a year. This is, this is how I got, it. I'm gonna see how good this will get in a year, but I'm not going to short change it. I'm gonna work my ass off for a year. I'm gonna do it harder than anybody. And if this thing at the end of the year isn't worth my time, I'm out. This is my first year, first year in business. This is the way I talk to myself. But I'm going to work it like you ain't never seen. I'm, I know there's going to be days I don't want to work it. I know there's going to be days I'm not happy. I know there's going to be days I'm going to be pissed off about something. But you know what? I'm going to give it everything. I'm going to be consistent. I'm going to be urgent. And I'm going to go do this thing. Did it for a whole year. Guess what? Looked up. <laughs> wow. Holy cow. I just changed my life. My life has changed forever. I just got my time back. I can see now a path where I don't have to do the, give somebody my 80 to 100 hours a week every week. I can give that to my family. I got one shot at this life. I don't get a do-over. I can go see the world God created. I can do the things that have been on my bucket list forever that I didn't have the time to go do. Now I can but see, it was that urgency and consistency. How many times? So I got to get somebody else and I got to start them slow. I got to let them see that belief check. I got to get them through the process. See, we try to give somebody else our process. If, if Here's what I mean. I would blow everybody out of the water if I got a person in today and I tried to give them my experience in the first hour. If I tried to tell them everything I just told you and, and try to get them to do everything I'm talking about in the first hour, I blow them out. So I got to get something focused how, to get them to how many times. Simplify. Starting a new person. Here it is. I want to teach them to make a list. Here's You might want to write these down. This is We're getting to the meat and potatoes here. Okay? I want to I teach them to make a list. Now, I'm going to tell you how I do it, and you can do it however, however you, your, person, your people are leading you say to do it, but I'm going to tell you how I do it in the very beginning. See? Because I don't want to overwhelm that person. So here's the way I start out. Now, I'm going to have a sit down with them later after they start doing stuff. Remember the process. Remember that word process. We're going to start here, and we're going to build building blocks on it over time. We're not going to start here. We're going to start here. Building blocks. So these are the important. Make a list. Here's what I do with a person. I try to get 10 to 20 names out of them right away. I'm going to get 200 names out of them. I promise you, that's my goal. But I'm going to get that first, those easy ones right in the beginning. And I might not even sit and write. In the very first time I ask them for a list, I might just say, I won't have a piece of paper with them or anything. I might say, hey, man, who do you know we can talk to? This is, talk to your people like you talk to your people. Don't be a robot. Don't be a, you, you've heard all these audios. Okay, now how do you say it? Put in your, you know, be, be a real person. This is relationship marketing. Hey, man, with my buddies, hey, man, who do you know we can go talk to right now? Yeah, there's, let's go. Let's go talk to them. No, let's go. Let's go. Let's get this thing going. Let me show you how this works. I'll go with you. You don't have to do anything. You just make the call. Say this. The second thing I do, I teach them a quick invite. Say this. I don't, I don't tell them. I don't give them a script. I tell them, don't give away the end of the movie. Don't tell them the end of the movie. Don't tell them what everything is. Here, well, what should I say? Well, are they in town here? Yeah. Call them and say, ask them where they're at and tell them you're coming over. That's your invite. Hey, where are you at? I'm coming over. Okay. Hey, I got my buddy with me. We'll be over in a little bit. That's it. I didn't talk about skincare, 
I didn't talk about nutrition. I didn't talk about money. I didn't talk about travel. Hey, where you at? I'm coming over. The goal of the invite is to get in front of people, not to educate them so they know why you're coming. I'm not trying to trick anybody. I'm trying to get in front of them. What is it? It's me. I'll be there in 20 minutes. That's my favorite invite. What if I'm inviting to, uh, okay, hey, this is Troy, I got, hey, what are you doing Tuesday night at 7? Don't give away the end, end of the movie. I need you for about 20, 30, 40 minutes. I need you. What for? I need you. This is the way I talk to my friends. Okay, I'll be there. That's it. Now, I don't know if that works for you, but you can put something together that works for you that you don't give away the end of the movie. Does that make sense? I'm sure there's stuff out here that Efrosini and the team, they have. You can use that stuff, but here's what I'm going to encourage you to do. Make it your own. Don't change it to the point of you're giving away the end of the movie, but make it your own. So there's, there's two things. If you haven't written those down, write those down. Third thing. Remember, these are the things I want to do right now with a new person. And this last one is critical. This last one is where most of you fail and fail big. See, I, it, it's do their launch party. Whether it be Zoom, whether it be, I love being at their house. My favorite one is, is at their house. But it might be a Zoom, but it's a launch party. It's theirs. It's ownership. It's their people. Hey, John, let's do your first, let's do your launch event, man. Let's launch this business. What does that mean? Well, let's have a let's have a, a get together at your house. You don't have to do anything special. How, do I have to cook? No. Put some water out. Put some chips out. That's it. That's good. Invite people over. Don't give away the end of the movie. I'll come do the deal. Show you how to get this thing done. There you go. Do their launch event. You want to know a story? True story. I got a guy very good at this business. Very very good. So trans, you know, he comes over two years ago. Comes in when I come in. This guy's good. Okay, he's he's one of the better guys around. And he starts building, going out, he's getting it going. Then I see a lull in his business. So he's getting, he's going, he's getting it going. Then I see a lull. So I decide, you know, this guy's too good to let this happen. So he lives hours and hours away. So I flew out there, flew out there to do it. Hey, I'm going to come out and do a meeting for you. What I really want to do is just see what's going on. Just talk to him, see what's going on. So I go out there, I do the meeting. Oh, okay, meeting. Wasn't great. But... It was, it was good. It was a good meeting. But then we had the talk after the meeting. So he and I are sitting in his backyard. We're talking. And I said, so what's going on? How come How come things aren't doing this? And I was I don't know. I can't figure it out. He goes, I'm, I'm, I'm working. And he was. By the way, he was working. This is the process. This is doing the right activity. Okay? Leave something out that's important, that's in the process, there are only a few things in the process. If you leave something out in the process, things are going to die. Does that make sense? The, say there's three or four things, four things in the process that have to be done. Everything else is eh, but there are four things. If you leave one of those out, the process starts to, the more you leave out, the more the process, because here's what he was doing. He go, I go, are you talking to people? He goes, I sponsor, he goes, two, in the last two months, his, and this is a real number, he's not messing he goes, I sponsored 60 people. And I knew that was true. I was watching the boards. He sponsored a lot of people. And then I, and I already knew. I already knew. The next question. I said, can I ask you a question? I want you to be really honest with me. He said, yeah. I said, how many launch parties did you do for those 60 people? How many launch parties did you do? Anybody want to guess what the number was? Zero. Zero. So if you're in a business and your business is changing, you, you gotta, you're changing car tires. That's your business. You have a tire shop. Just made this up. And you're, you're changing tires. And there's a process to getting that, that tire changed. And the last thing, you, you get the tire on, everything, it's all good to go. You let the car down off the jack and you say, hey, your car's ready. And they drive off and you didn't put air in the tire. How's that work? You change the tire. You got a brand new tire. Put it on the car. Tighten all the lug nuts. You did everything right. But you left up one piece. Didn't put the air in the tire. How's it working? He didn't put the air in the tire. 
See what I'm saying? You, you get, there's a few processes. That car has a, a lot of working parts. There's an engine, there's a carburetor, there's all this stuff. I don't have to deal with that right now. I got to deal with the tire. That's one of my processes. If you're not doing launch parties, you're not putting air in the tire. Does that make sense? I hope this makes sense. So these are my three things that I'm in the first day. This is what I'm teaching people. So I'm teaching people to make, to, to get rolling. Now, once I do their launch party, here's another part, part of the process that if I don't, this is like not putting air in the tire. Let's say we do the launch party. There's five people there. Two people get involved. Three people get involved. I don't, whatever it is. Do we bam fam out of it for new people? What is bam fam? Book a meeting from a meeting. So my buddy, John, he just got five people there. I did the presentation. We signed him up. I showed him how to sign him up. We, I helped him sign him up. Puts three people in the system. Hey, that's great. See you guys later. Thanks for coming. Thanks for, hey, this is awesome. Not booking anything. We let the car down. We didn't put air in the tire. Doesn't work. We got to bam fam out of it. That's our business. How do you get how do you get new business if you're not bam famming? Book a meeting from a meeting. The worst thing you do is do all the work. You help them make a list. You tell them how to do a call to invite. You got them to the meeting to do the lunch. You got people in and you go, ah, that was awesome. You're starting at zero again. Bam fam. Don't leave a meeting ever without booking a meeting. Book a meeting from a meeting right here in Christmas, man. Right here in the holidays. We got, you can bam fam like crazy. You don't know why, but you got to be willing to go to the people. I'm telling you, you got to be willing. This is a time, here's what I found out. It's harder to get people to come to us now, right, in the holidays. But I can go to people. Well, I don't have business right here around me. Go get business around you. Do your Zooms, do your stuff. Go where you got business going. Somebody needs you, great. But you, new business, right here around you. Go to people. It's the holidays. They ain't getting out. They don't want to get out. But, hey, I'm coming over. Okay. That's, I'm telling you, right now, and you can slingshot through people. You can slingshot through the groups. You can go from bronze right now to ruby tomorrow. You can go from ruby to blue diamond. This thing, this thing, I with this process right here, and maybe they're on here. I don't know. I don't know who's on here and who is it. I had I had a girl that 17 years ago we we put in the business. And she was great. She everything you're looking for. Personality, uh, just a smart gal, hard worker, everything. We put her in and she was rocking. And then in her area, she lived a long way away away from us in her area. There was a company that exploded in her area. She knew some people and she said, you know what? I'm going to do both. You can't do both. I'm going to do both, which is a whole nother talk. I'm going to do this one and that one. I already knew she's not going to do both. She's going to do one or the other. And because they're out there and they're having an explosion and I'm all the way here, chances are I'm, I might lose her. This is the first person I ever really, that was good that I ever lost. Like, and, and we didn't, it wasn't a thing where it was a bad split up or anything like that. We were we were friends, and I knew it was a good situation for her, and that company was rocking. And I'm like, cool, that, that's fine. And we supported her, and we talked to her every once in a while, and it wasn't like a bad split up, right? Well, that's 17 years ago. We just keep contacting her every so often. Every so often. Hey, hey. Well... We'd met her daughter. Her daughter was about eight or nine, 10 years old when we first met her. Well, now her daughter's, you know, 20, 20 something, <laughs> 30, close to 30. Well, now we're, we're contacting the daughter saying, I want to go work with Jeff and Troy. I, I, I don't know what they're doing, but it looks so cool. So she comes to an event in Denver, Colorado, five months, five, I guess that would have been in, in, in July. That was her first event. She comes, she gets so excited about what we got. Her daughter, my friend's daughter. And by the way, her daughter's my friend too. She gets so excited. She's like, oh, I found what I've been looking for. It has everything I'm looking for. I want, I want to work with you guys. And she is the perfect person. Well, she gets so excited. She calls her mom. She goes, mom, you need to come here. Well, guess what? Ma, here we are 17 years later. And things had changed for the mom. Like, 
the company that she loved had kind of things some a couple things had happened she wasn't happy there she was looking for a home she didn't know where to go guess what they joined forces mom and dad daughter said let's do this together they come in july to the first event just the just the daughter she calls her mom gets excited four months later they hit diamond now what did they do first of all the mom, mom's done this for a while she has some experience but not here. They were coachable and teachable, number one. They were a sponge. They still are. They're a sponge. They're so good. They don't need me. They don't need Jeff, but they're a sponge. They want to learn the process. They want to learn how to do it. And it's just like every little thing. And they're doing it to a T. They're, they're a joy to work with. They don't work, they don't sweat the small stuff. They don't, they just focus, focus. Here's what we do. Here's what we do. Diamond in four months. You can go from where you are right now to what you want to do quick, but you got to get focused. You can't be, you, you, the thing's got to be the thing. I always say this, when, when, you know, when, when all these guys, these big guys, are, you, you know, when Elon Musk or, or uh, Bill Gates or all these guys were developing their first company that got them from here to here, that first company, not the ones that they have now, the, the ones that they built in the garage when they didn't have money to eat. I'm talking about those those days. When they were building that first company, were they focused on all this other stuff or they focused on what their deal was? You gotta find your deal and get focused. People always say this, I love this one. I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna step on some toes here, I'm gonna say it, but this is, I just watch it over and over. People are like, oh no, you don't wanna get focused on one thing, you wanna diversify. You wanna know something? I know a lot of broke diversified people. You got to have this and this and this. they're all okay. You got all these irons in the fire. None of them's making you any money and you never will. Cause you're not giving them any focus. Here's the better plan. Find something that you can really go sink your teeth in that, you know, could pay you a residual type income that could give you leverage time back. And when you get that, when you get to the level where it's just flowing in without you diversify, everybody gets it backwards because they're listening to people that, know, that have never done it. Get focused, make the deal the deal. Go do it day in and day out, go do it. I looked at anesthesia when I was doing this deal, when I said, okay, this is it, I'm gonna get my time back. Anesthesia was a side gig to me, 80 to 100 hours a week side gig, but it was a side gig. My focus was here. Focus, focus. I had to do this. I had to. Could not not do it. I had to. I had to eat. I had to pay my bills. I had to, so I had to do this. But everything else, it was out of my life. I'm focused for a season of my life to get all my time back to get every. That's what I did. So bam, fam. Going back to now, we got to simplify the pitch. Now, I'm not going to tell you what to say. I'm going to tell you my idea. You guys have a the what you show, what you do. I'm not trying to change it. I just want to tell you I'm simplifying the pitch. Whatever you guys do, I want you to simplify your pitch so it's easy to understand. I show when somebody comes in. And again, I know I know things might be different in Europe. So forget my numbers. I want you to see the concept. Forget the numbers. Okay, and I don't know if they're the same or different. I I don't know that. Sorry. But here we have three packs that we're selling 400, 300, or 400, 700, and a 2000. So when at, at the end of the presentation, I don't tell them about all the other products. I don't tell them, I tell them about the three packs. This is how you get involved with us. Because when you give them, do you know how many SKUs we got back there? There's like 150 SKUs. So if I say, hey, here's all our stuff, go pick what you want. I just confuse the process again. A confused mind is a frozen mind and a frozen mind does nothing. I got to simplify it. Here's how you get in. You got a 400, 700. By the way, get a getaway with that. You get a getaway if you get in with the pack, okay? So you're gonna get, a, you're gonna get first month of club secret in, included. And then I show them, hey, there's one more way. It's a $2,000 pack. Of course you get more product with that. Well, you guys know the deal. I'm just showing you how to simplify. This is how I get in the presentation. But you get three trips included with that one. We find that a lot of people love the pro because they get more products and they're getting three trips. I don't care which one you get, get in where you fit in. This is me simplifying the process. That's it. Each one of them get club secret included. Okay. The real 
question is, do you want one trip or do you want three? That's that's what I'm telling. The real question here is, you want one trip or you want three? You just pick the pack. I don't care which one. Okay, simplify the process. Now, the build. The building blocks are this. This is it. This is a building block. I There's comp plan. There's I think there's eight different ways, to nine, maybe nine different ways to get paid here. I don't know. You know what's crazy? There may be eight or nine different ways to get paid here. I really only talk about three or four. And I don't even talk about those in the beginning. I only talk about one, really, in the beginning. But I don't talk about those because I don't want to overwhelm somebody. Remember that? Hey, new person, let me tell you all about the comp plan. Let me tell you about this. Let Overwhelm. I need, to, I need to give them the building blocks. And we all know this. Here's the building blocks. Here's the four I talk about. The rock star, the cycles, the builder bonus, and the check match. That's really what I talk about when I'm at. But this is after. I don't talk about that in the beginning. This is when somebody's now building with me. They're, you know, they're, they're, about, they're bronze. They're, hey, let me, let's, let's go through this, this, this deal so you understand it a little bit. I'll do it at a training or something. Okay. I, I don't want to overwhelm them, but I want you to understand this. Here's the simplifying of the build. The foundation of our comp plan is Rockstar. You understand, you hit Rockstar, you double the bonuses. I want my new person to double the bonuses. So I'm talking about, let's get four this week. Here's what we're going to do. I, and I say this, I say, let's get four this week. I've had people that do it in one day. So if, let's, if you got four people when you go to talk to, we can get this knocked out today. See, you got to talk like that and make it the norm. You got to make this the norm. Everybody hits Rockstar. Everybody hits Rockstar. Double the bonuses. If you don't understand the bonuses, we have to, again, numbers might be different where you're at. Just look at the concept. You get the packs on a $400 pack, you get a $40 bonus, 700, you got 70, 2,200. But if you do a combination of any four of those in a four week period, I don't tell them four week people period. I'm saying this week, my new person, let's go get four this week. They got four, four weeks. We're doing it this week. Urgency. So I do, and when we do that, they hit Rockstar and everything doubles. 40 goes to 80, 70 goes to 140, 200 goes to 400. Why wouldn't I do that for my new person? Look at that. Look at the numbers. I might get a $320 check back in somebody's hand. It's not a huge check, but it's a belief check. If I get a $760 check, it's not a huge check, but it's a belief check. If I get $1,600, hey, they're like, wow, hey, it's pretty good. See, I got to get those belief checks in their hand. Rockstar. These are the building bonuses. Okay, now, I'm going to, I'm not going to go through this. I'm gonna show you this. This is a uh, this is somebody. I want you to see the numbers. So um, I got this is a guy that I actually started with. This is in week 600. You guys know that uh, the pay weeks have numbers. So this was I think we're in 6, 12, or 13 now. So this was a few weeks back, several weeks back. But I just put this as an example. So guy comes in. It's week 600. Tell him about Rockstar. So he gets a getting started bonus of 280. Look at that. He gets a he gets a uh, getting a rock star bonus of 280. He gets a builder bonus. But look at this. He gets a team commission all in the first week. $750. Belief. A belief check. This is a brand new person. You're like, did it work? Watch the next week. So that's 601. The same person. Same exact person. 601. We go to the next week. Look at this. He's like, wow, that was pretty good. I still got a bunch of fresh people on my list. I know a lot of people. Okay. He gets a getting started bonus because he put new people in. Look at that. $400. That means he's rock star because it doubles because he got four. $400. Builder bonus. $100. Team bonus. $90. Look at that. $990. In the, in the first two weeks, he's around $1,800. You think his belief is high or low? Is his belief high or low? Is high. I'm I'm trying to get, here's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get somebody started simply. I'm trying to get them in the process and get their belief high. By the way, is his belief go up? Okay, he makes his check. But if I get him to a training, if I get him to a Super Saturday, if I get him to an RTE, if I get him to a big event, 
Does the belief go up or down? Up. I'm building belief as I go. Everything. Getting him around the campfire. Every time I can get him around the campfire, I'm not trying to build belief by letting him know everything I know day one. That doesn't build belief. It doesn't build belief. See, it keeps us. You know what we're doing? We're trying to stuff everything down their throat. Give them all the stuff. And it keeps us from doing the actual work, which is let's grab them by the hand and go show the people they know. That's what happens. See, fear sets in. There's a fear of picking up the phone, fear of actually doing the presentation. Fear sets in. It's a powerful emotion. But see, my fear was I didn't want to get through this life because I knew I had one shot. Here's my fear. I got one shot. I don't get a do-over. I don't get to do it over. I don't get to, I don't get any of that. It's not a dress rehearsal. You get one shot. My fear was I wouldn't take the shot. See, I, I believe secret is a once in a lifetime type shot where we're setting and we're here in the beginning. Oh yeah, they've been here for 20 years as a company. They've been in the, in the relationship marketing part for about 10 years. But they ain't done what they've done in the last two years. This is brand new, but we're on a two to $300 million foundation. That's a good place to be. Now, let me get through this. I want to show you this, and I'm going to end with this. So, through uh, through the through my career, the last 17 years, I you know I've learned a lot of lessons. I've done a lot wrong. I've done a few things right. It's let me have a pretty cool life. But through my relationships and through doing this stuff and getting my you know people know who you are. I met a guy years ago by the name of Dr. Charles King. Some of you might have met Dr. Charles King as well. But I got to lead, I, I got to kind of have a relationship with Dr. Charles King. And I got to know him. I was speaking on the stages with him. You know, he'd be on stage, I'd be on stage. So we get to know each other, right? And so I've been to dinners with him. A couple of times I'd see him in the airport passing through. He'd he'd be in the airport while I was there. And and we'd have lunch together while we we're at the airport. That kind of deal. I went, we weren't best friends, but we knew each other. Enough that when we sat down, he would really talk to me. And so if you don't know Dr. Charles King's history, he's a, he's a uh, Harvard grad, a PhD from Harvard. And then he started teaching in uh, the University of Chicago, uh, Illinois in Chicago. And he was the only guy to ever have a, an actual class, a, a, a curriculum for relationship marketing in the world. He taught this in the curriculum. And it came by a mistake. He was not a he was not a fan of it in the beginning. He he really he had a student that did a research paper, talked about relationship marketing. He said, "Bring me the stats. I'm going to tear it apart." And then he started really diving into it. And he's like, "This is the greatest business model I've ever seen." And so he became maybe the foremost educational steward of this industry in the world. So I got to know him. And he, he taught he taught lots of things and he he was a numbers guy and sometimes he would bore you a little bit if I'm just being he passed away by the way and uh, great guy but sometimes he'd bore you with the numbers and get he'd dive way deep and get a little too deep in the woods and stuff for a lot of people but man if you sit there and waited for the nuggets he had some nuggets and one of the thing he wrote a book called the new professionals and I, I got it right there that's his book and and it's a a lot of you maybe have read this book. But there's one thing in that book that, that we've talked about for a long time, and I got to really dig in with him and did, you know, okay, I understood that part in the book, but I wanted to really dive in with him and get the, the goods. And so I want to share with you kind of what I got. And so it's, a, it's the four phases of growth. He talks about a company will go through four phases of growth, and these phases are very important, and you need to understand them. And I want you to understand them, and I'm going to kind of end here and just kind of give you the vision of where I'm at and why I'm so excited, because here's what he said. In the four phases of growth in that book, he says, the first phase is called formulation. Well, what is formulation? Formulation, it goes into concentration, it goes into momentum, and that's where the massive growth is stability. I want to talk about, we're right there. So I want to talk, let me go through here. I, I meant to take some of these out. Hold on. Let me get to the one I really want to get to. I'm sorry it's doing this. My bad. I was supposed to take this out this morning. There, the training slide. Here's what I want. So the formulation, that's the first one. Okay. In formulation, here's what happens in formulation. 
there is a period before we get to the next deal that that period right there, here's what happens. The companies it found, this is where, remember I told you there's thousands and thousands and thousands of companies come every year. So they jump in and they're all trying to get through formulation. Guess where most companies die? Formulation. They don't make it through formulation. Okay. They come, they go, they're gone. Have you ever, that's why this industry gets such a bad hit is there's there's so many companies that try to jump in formulation and they never get through it. And that's the stories we hear about of my, my cousin's brother's sister got in one time, made no money and the company disappeared. Formulation. Okay. Here's what happens in formulation. It's new. Number one, there's tons of doubt. Well, does it work? Like, can you show me it works? Can you prove to me it works? Can you show, let me see your check. Ever heard that one? Hey, how much you making? And because of that, there's just, very few believers. There's, not any, there's a very few believers in the formulation. You know, they've, they've made a little money, but they can't get other people to believe and they can't. And pretty soon the company goes away. Most of the companies aren't sound. They don't have, you know, and that's comp plan matters if it's not sound. Comp plan doesn't matter if you have a sound, because there's only a dollar and a dollar. This is how do you want to distribute the dollar, right? And, and pay it out. So that that's cool. But Companies that are trying in formulations, sometimes they'll make the comp plan pay out more money than they bring in. How long does that last? It lasts as long as the float lasts. Then pretty soon they can't float it anymore and it's gone. Hope that makes sense. Okay. Now that's formulation. Second one I talked about that you saw me talk about was concentration. Company makes it through formulation. Ooh, they're they're starting to make some money. They're it thing, it's kind of getting steady. They're not they're not worried about how they're gonna pay everything every month. They got they got some believe more believers and see that concentration. There's proof it works. Let me ask you something. Is there proof here it works? Yes. The bi- belief, more importantly, the belief builds. See, the more you go and get those get those rock star bonuses for people, the more belief our company has. See, this is not just you building your business. It's us building our business. If I win, you win. If you win, I win. Because I'm going to point to your story and you point to my story and vice versa with everybody on here. Belief builds. Okay. That's concentration. Then if you're lucky enough to get out of concentration and you got the right, and you got it. Let me just tell you something. (laughs) We got it. We got everything we need. And the stuff that I remember, I tell you last week I went to Isaac's. The stuff that's coming in 2023, early, early. I'm talking right away. There's going to be some stuff that catapults. Let me tell you. See, there, 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 there's this tipping point. Have you heard the the book Tipping Point? There's a tipping point in the company that something happens. See, I'll, I'll tell you my last company. Let me tell you what happened in my last company. That that took it to the tipping point. Some of you were there, so you know this to be true. Do you understand that when, when I got involved in that last company, that it was zero, zero. They had no volume. We had nothing that worked, but there was leaders that said, we're going to do this together. And we didn't, we got focused, man. And it started, we got through formulation. Then we got to concentration and we're like, oh, wow, this is good. And we were doing, we're doing $100 million. $100 million a year. We're doing it. Get $150 million, whatever. We're in that range. And the company's good. It's in, and we're like, woo, and we're we're making money, and some people are making money, and all. We're like, this is good, but we couldn't bust that ceiling. It's year after year, we just couldn't go to that next level. There's a company out there that's boom. You see them going, thousands of people coming in every week, and you're like, how the heck are they doing it? We had a tipping point. See, we had something that just when people saw it, it just was like, holy cow, this was good. That this, but it just took it to great. And I'll tell you what it was. Don't remember the exact year. Some of you might remember the exact year. But we came out with a promotion. We said, hey, there's some companies out there doing pretty good with this kind of promotion. Let's do what they're doing. Let's steal this idea. But let's make it better. So we went and took all the companies out there, every company we could find that had anything like this, and we broke down their comp plan on this portion, just this portion that I'm talking about. And we said, let's make ours better. And how we made it better is we gave more money for less volume. So they had this much volume, this got this much money. We said, let's do this much volume and give them this much money in that bonus. 
and we, and we we got ready. We got it all put together. We looked at it. We said, can it work? Yeah, it, we can financially do it. Yeah, we can do it. We did all that. It's got everything ready. Then we marketed it well. We got ready and we marketed it well. And then we announced it and then we went to work and it blew up. You know what it was called? It was called the Wings and Wheels. It was the BMW bonus. Anybody remember that? It took our company from here to overnight. And I'm not, I'm not exaggerating this. I went from here. I was making a good income. I was already retired. I already retired from anesthesia. So I'm making a great income. The next week after that announcement, my sales tripled and never went back. They just kept going. So I went from making X amount to three times the amount overnight and never went back. He just kept doing it. It was incredible. It was a tipping point. It was a the critical mass. People started coming in. It was something that happened. Why am I telling you that? I was at a meeting last week. And I'm telling you, we're good. We are so solid. Company solid. Ownership is solid. Products are solid. We need a tipping point. Tipping point. 2023. So what I'm telling you this to say, get ready. You don't want to get to this point with not a bunch of people in your net. You got to have a bunch of people ready to go when the tipping point gets here. That's coming. What happens during the tipping point? We get to this thing called momentum, the next phase. And the next phase, that's where the money's made. See, here's what happens. Overwhelming proof. All of a sudden, you got all these people making money. You got all these people, their lives changed. You got this guy, this gal. Hey, this person was doing this. They were broke. They had this. Now they're a million dollar earner. They had this. They had this. Now they got this. You got all this overwhelming proof, and that creates overwhelming belief, and momentum happens. It's crazy, right? It's where it's where the big money, where the massive growth. You want to be in before momentum. That's the whole point. I want to be in before momentum. And then sometimes there's there's certain companies that they go through the momentum, they get everything right, and they hit the last stage called stability. And in stability, it's still a great company. You don't have anything else to prove. There's nothing to prove. Belief continues, and it goes on and on and on. The, the Amways of the world, the Herbalife of the world, the Mary Kays of the world. They've all got there. See, I was in a company that we thought was going to be that, but then we had one product that was called Travel. We were in momentum. We've done everything right. And then a once-in-a-lifetime plague hit the earth. So we're like, man, we love travel. And we want to still do travel. We want to do it better than we did before. But we also understand this. You don't just do travel overnight. It took us, listen, it took us, five, six, seven, eight years to get travel right before. We said, let's do travel better and let's develop it here. And so we're in our developing stage of travel right now. We're going to do it better than anybody else. Have you seen some extra things we've done? We'll get everything that we all want. I right, just, let's go build this business. See, and so we didn't get to hit stability in the last one because the plague got us. We went through all the formulation. I've been there. Concentration, been there. Momentum, I've been there. Stability, I've never been there. So when I look at this company, and when, I, when I'm like, what do I want? You know, I gotta find something. I gotta find something for, for my family, for my extended family, for my community. What am I looking for? This is why I, this is why I don't budge. It's why I don't, I don't look at shiny objects that people have gone to, and some of them are already gone to the second, third, and fourth one. I don't look at shiny objects. I'm looking at, do I have a foundation that I can build upon and we can grow and I can get what I want out of this life? I get one shot. I don't get a do-over. Do I have a do I have an owner? Do I have a that's willing to do the things that we want to do? Yes. Yes, we do. Do I have a company that has a foundation, the comp plan's solid, and the products are solid? They did three billion dollars in retail sales. The products are solid. Do I have all that here? Yes, I do. Now it's my, it's my job and your job to do this. Here's where we're set right now. This is us. This is a secret. This is you and me. We're in this concentration area. 
We're, see, Secret's done 200, 300 million dollars a year for the last few years now. Two to 300 million. We're in concentration. What do we do to take it to two to three billion? Is it, does Isaac need to be better? Does the, does the products need to be better? No. We can get the travel better. We'll, we'll keep working on the travel. We're there. We're, we're developing. We're doing that. That takes a little bit. So what takes us from concentration to momentum? It's me and you. See, doing the things, the, the real building activities. See, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at you, and I, I hope you're sitting here today, and I'm looking at you as a business partner right now. We're in this thing together. We got, we got a shot here. We got a shot to take this to be one of the greatest companies ever. I'm, I know everybody says that, but they don't know how to go do it. Most of them are, are in formulation, and they're saying, uh, we, we, all of us right now, we can think of somebody that's jumped to something that they were in formulation and already gone. Think of it right now. You know it. Say a name. You, you know the name. You know several names. Right now, I'm in, I'm in this concentration. I'm in the build. I'm in the build of my life. See, because I, I now have some experience. I know what it looks like. I know what I know what it looks like to go through formulation, concentration, momentum. My goal is to get to stability. I want to blow this sucker up momentum. I want I want us over the next 10 years. And mo- we can be in momentum phase for 10, 15 years. I want to see what stability phase. That's where I want to get. And I want to get there with you. And so when, when they asked me to come on today, I was like, man... I, I, I'm so excited. I don't. I, I wish I could tell you more about that tipping point thing. But can you just believe me right now? Can you just have belief in me right now and say, okay, I believe he's saying what he's saying is real. That they really do have this tipping point thing coming. When you see it, blow your mind. It's gonna blow your mind. We're not changing anything. We 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 got the foundation. We got everything we need. We're not changing stuff. We're adding to, adding to, adding to. So guys. I don't even know how long I've been on here. I probably went too long. I'm sorry. Um, but man, I'm, I'm just excited. I'm excited. I hope you I hope you know I'm excited. I hope you know. I want you to know this. Eddie Head's excited. Uh, 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 Isaac and the Ben Shabbat family, excited. The leaders here in the U.S., I, I haven't been to Europe in a while. I've been, it's been, what, I don't know, maybe a year since I've been to Europe. I'd like to come again. If they'll ever let me come. If they ever let me out of the U.S., I'll come. <laughs> But I'd love to come to Europe again. Um, but here's the deal. Uh, Musafir, all of our upline, Musafir, Jesse, they're excited. They were there at that meeting. They're excited, I promise you. Time for us to get excited. Time for us to get focused. Time for us to do the real activities and go show more people through this holiday. Through this holiday. Don't wait for the tipping point to come. Build to the tipping point. Build to the tipping point. You got 10 people in now. 10 exit to the tipping point. 10 exit. Go get 100. And when the tipping point gets here, you get a bigger explosion. That's my advice to you. Man, thank you, uh, Efrosini, Melly, to everybody, all the leaders. Thank you for letting me come on. I appreciate you. I hope this was some help. And uh, God bless. Thank you. Wow. 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 Like, Troy just said, I hope this was some help. I feel like that was all the help any of us need for like ever and ever to just go on that talk. I almost feel like that's it for today, guys. That's almost like what I want to say because that was the way that Troy talks. The vision that he painted is so unbelievable. It was just such on-point information. You know, not only did he give us the skills, but he gave us the mindset. And um, that's the mindset we need to have this Christmas as we go into December. I am, I am hyped after that talk. At some point, you know, me and Afrosini just looked at each other and we were like, oh my God, it's like, it's like, what are we even doing? What are we, what are we even doing in our business? Are we even working? Are we even going to work? I don't, I don't know. I don't know whether we've even got to that level that Troy's at. We haven't. We That's where we need to go. And we're just so blessed that we've got leaders like Troy that have walked the path before us. And they are on a level just above us that we can follow and get that mentorship. And you know what I love about Troy is he pretty much makes no financial benefit from being on this call at all. But he's just given from the bottom of his heart. And he, he's just spoken the truth into us. And 
it's been so clear of where we need to go. So I want, I want to have a quick survey right now. And if you are brand new on the chat, I just want you to say a quick hi on the chat for me. If you're brand new and this is your very first virtual training, I want you to say a hi on the chat right now. We welcome you to our community and what an incredible first trainer of the Super Saturday today we've just had. Absolutely incredible. Great. So I can see the person watching with Betty is brand new. And Betty, you've been on fire. I've been watching you. I've been watching you. Rock star. Amazing. Good job. Eat it. you got somebody new. That's great. That's great. Super. Um, awesome. And so guys, this brings me to the very next speaker. Um, wow, you guys are in for a treat. I can't wait to see the next speaker. Now, goes without saying, Troy Brown is a hard act to follow and we're all individuals, right? So it's it's not, everybody's going to be different here and everybody's going to bring a whole new um, set of skills and a whole different value to the table on today. And so this person, I absolutely adore working with them. If there was ever a perfect definition of team player, she embodies that. She's somebody that, you know, she works really hard. She's already really busy. She's a mom of three kids. Um, she has a full-time job and she works this business part-time. So she is a brand new platinum, never ever recognized before. In fact, I want to do something special right now. I'm going to give every single person on this call the ability to unmute your mics right now. Go ahead and unmute your mics. And I want you to say a big congratulations. I want to hear a congratulations. Congratulations. To congratulations. 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 <laughs> Super. Thank you so much, guys. So we are congratulating our brand new platinum. Now, before I bring her up, he, here's what I love about her. Is she is on point with getting customers. And to have a healthy organization in network marketing, and pay attention to the numbers here, to have a healthy organization and network marketing, you want to have at least, at least about 45% of your team be customers, be regular customers, love the product, enjoy the product, um, come back every month to keep topping up their product. In fact, how many people, when they go to the supermarket, always buy the same, the same brand of, of peanut butter or baked beans? Or they always buy the same loaf of bread. You're loyal to the brand, right? You're loyal to the brand. And this is what Stalo is absolutely fantastic at. She's fantastic at creating loyal customers, which is what every single one of us needs. We want to get our percentage of customers in our business up to have a healthy organization because customers don't quit. Customers can't go, you know what? That, that product said no to me today and that was so painful. Customers don't say that. They put it on their face and they feel absolutely beautiful. And so Stalo is incredible at this. And she's going to be sharing with us today how we can capitalize on customers for this upcoming month. So let's go ahead, guys. Let's welcome Stalo. Her very first training, by the way, debut training. She'd never been to a train the trainer. So I'm so excited. I'm so excited for her um, and to see this. Let's give her again a warm welcome and give her the best for her very first training here at Secret. Stalo, over to you. Hello, everybody. Can you hear me well? Hello. Yeah. Yes. We hear you. Thank you very, very much. Actually, before I get started, I would like to say a very huge, big thank you to Melanie and to the surprise that I just found right now. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you very, very much for everything. Thank you, Melanie. That was a very warm welcoming. Uh, too many things said. It's not that big, though. We're still working on that, on the go. Um, um, actually, I'm trying to uh, share the screen. Uh, and as Melanie said, that's my very first training. So, um, so, but middle, so on the middle of your screen, there should be a green button that says share screen. If you click on that, and then you should be able to see your slides come up as soon as you click share screen, if your slides are open in the background. Actually, I, I just did, and I, I did desktop 
share open system preference. Um, mm -hmm. I can share the slides from mine. Efrasini is I ready. See the Estalo, what we can do yes. is share. The, I have your slides. Efrasini will share from yes. our computer and you will talk through. Does that sound good? That's great. Thank awesome. you very much. Always solutions. Okay. There we go. Okay. So we're getting good to go. Okay, actually, guys, today I'm just going to talk about um, getting ready for Christmas and how can we use our brilliant Super Value product as a gift in order uh, to uh, definitely expand and um, advertise our business and our product. So, oh, I forgot that I cannot move on. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. And as we all know, Santa, it's, it's, it's a period that everybody is thinking of um, uh, coming up with ideas of getting present for Christmas and for everything that is coming right now. Uh, actually, what I've been doing, and I've, been, I've done that last year as well, all uh, is exactly the same things that Troy said before, all my Christmas uh, presents, uh are like straight for secrets that's it here just uh prepare a list of uh things that are coming up in our mind how can we um uh, come up with ideas definitely we'll we'll think of people that it's time it's it's a time of the season that we're going to either visiting a house relatives families my kids my friend's kids, because I have I have three kids, as Melanie said. My two girls are like on the um, adulthood right now, so they're having a lot of friends. With uh, we have some issues with skin, with uh, pimples, so that's a very very good uh, opportunity for my for my for my daughters to give some of the acne products we have for presents. Things are changing present for Christmas. For my parents, for example, I already bought the, the package for supplements for my dad because he had some issues with his health, some challenges recently. Um, I came up with the list with friends who wanted to try or buy some of our products for, for some reason they never made it, either because of the money or because of just, you know, uh, procrastinating. For here in Cyprus, we have the tendency to to have uh, to give a small present to the teachers at school. So maybe either a matzo would be an amazing present. And I will say more later how we can combine the matzo in order to create and give the value of the soap. Uh, coaches, my kids are in the in the sport, so it's a very nice opportunity to give us a small gift to one of the coaches. Christmas parties were invited, and always I have the same issue. What shall I take to the house that I'm invited to? Uh, scrap, uh, salt, salt and all scrap, but I will say more ideas later. Houses were invited. We are doing Secret Santa here a lot. So it could be any, it depends on the amount that we are, or that we are uh, willing to pay for that. Um, Let's come up with the next There's a few more ideas. Okay. Um, just uh, uh, to say thank you to somebody. Uh, we would like to share a present or a thank you note and saying something like since it's Christmas. So actually there's a lot of ideas. What I would recommend and how I use our product Especially, as I, I started this organization, this planning from Black Friday. So what I did, I ordered many more uh, packages that I was allowed to. I did my best with, um, um, with all the products. I bought my, the, the sorry, excuse me. Um, sorry, 
So let's move on to the next uh, slide. Okay, what I did with uh, with my with my gifts, actually, I have some examples here. I wrapped some on ready. I put some on the on the on the pictures on the slide. But what I did, I came up with my own pictures, the, the secret picture, and I did I, at the back of the card. Let's say I put my uh, my information. So these kind of the um, uh, tags, let's say, I I put them in in every single package as a gift, so they know immediately my phone number, my website, the name of the, my website. So that's a very good way to promote my website and have people, you know, ordering stuff from uh, either for, for themselves or for other, um, for, for gifts, even people that they don't even know that this is a website. Let's say, for example, I recently, I got a package for one, or one, one friend that I met. She was about to travel for good in another country. I, I kept talking to her about secret, about the product, but she was in a rush. She had to urgently leave. So we didn't have time to have a proper meeting and explain her how we work with the business. So I just I wrapped a couple of things. I gave it to her. And when she saw my website, she had no clue that this is online and she can order it from uh, Germany. So she was so excited. And that's a very nice way to um to expand our business globally um let's move to the next uh, slide okay this is our uh, some other examples that we can do christmas uh, shopping for sure mix as i said earlier we can mix and match products um usually i do cream let's say uh, hand and either hand and feet or i can do face uh, muscle and I can combine a lot. I use, if, if it's a small gift, I can do this buffer, maybe with a hand cream. And what I would recommend, guys, let's, do, let's go to the next slide. Uh, something that I spent a little bit of time on, um, on the website yesterday and on the internet. Very smart idea is, for example, if I give this as a present, somebody who's not familiar with Secret and what, what the value of this product, maybe they would, um, you know, don't really understand why this uh, so big, is so special and what's the value behind it. So this is one of the pages that I found online. We have this, um, that's a cover page. It's a PDF of, uh, file actually. And we have a lot of um, um, products in this, uh, PDF file, and it, we, um, for every product, we have a, lot, a description of the value of the ingredients, definitely how to use a product, and what are the benefits of every single uh, product we're talking about. So instead of just taking a, a, a muscle, just grab it and give it away, may, may, a lot of people may realize, okay, what did you come with up right now, just a, a muscle? They wouldn't know the value. If you make a copies of this paper, the one I here I have here on the slide, and I just insert it in the in the gift and wrap it either in a plastic or in a nice way and put your information with a tag, definitely this is a very nice idea for them to understand what is special about this mustop and what this mustop can do to their to their skin. Okay, these are some examples. Definitely, it's very good for us to, to have in mind when we talk about our product. Uh, normally, I don't, I don't give these pictures, but what I give and what I really point out about the special uh, ingredients that we have, let's say, for example, this is one of my favorite masks. Even though it's more focused for acne or for oily skin, initially, I got this mask for my, for my two girls, and I am the one that I'm using it even more um, consistent other than my kit. So this mask especially, there was a jojoba oil, vitamin A, and it explains, it gives exact explanation what does vitamin A mean to our skin, that it, it's very good for to renew the skin. Um, of course, there's chamomile, aloe vera, and what it does to our skin. Let's move to the other slide, please. 
Okay, the same thing with shampoo and conditioner. That would be a great idea. If we decide to take shampoo and conditioner for a present, that would be a very good idea to slide one of these information uh, paper, even though some of the benefits or the ingredients are listed at the back of the of our product, but definitely it doesn't say about every single ingredient and what it does and what does provide for our skin. Let's go, let's move on to the next one. Okay, here, these are some facts about our uh, hand cream, which is amazing because it definitely it needs to make a, a difference why a hand cream could cost, let's say, for example, from two to euro to 20 euro. Definitely there must be some value in that and there must be a reason why we have such a big difference on the pricing. So if we go through all these benefits, Let's say cocoa butter, what does, it, what does it do to the skin? Shea butter, uh, sunflower oil, and we can see it's full of vitamins. I mean, all the good ingredients, even though on, the, on, our, on our product, we have the signals, the signs that it's paraben free, chemical free, full of dead sea minerals. But a lot of people don't really, they, they, they know that this is a good product, but they don't even know the value of it. This is what I'm trying to, uh, point out today. Let's move to the other one. Okay, definitely magic. Uh, the Botox in a box. Actually, this is one of my favorite masks. I use it a lot during Christmas. And what I did with this, because it very, it definitely it's very costly to give this as a present, unless it's a mother or somebody very very close to you. But what I do in order to help people try our product. I buy the package, of course, and I split it up. I open it, and I might wrap this individual mask, and I might combine it maybe with another kind of mask, or I might combine it with a mud soap. So definitely, if I wrap them together, I make sure that I will explain to people how we use it and the super benefits of the, of the product itself and what it does but it can be either for single use and have this, let's go to the next uh, slide because here we can, it, it's an instruction how to use a recovery mask just for a short term wrinkle up to eight hours, which is amazing the result, or we can use it as a treatment. But let's say if somebody has a single use of this session and, and have that experience to see how it feels on their skin, what do you think they will come up later? Definitely they will have, they will be, go to the website and since they like it, they're just gonna go and order the whole package for themselves or to do the same thing as a present to other people. Let's go to the other slide. Okay, same thing definitely with the salt and oil scrub or our salt. Here we have all the benefits why we all know the benefits of the sea salt, but this is even more because it's sea salt from the Dead Sea. So we, we, on, on top of that, we have the Dead Sea minerals um, that they're giving all the benefits to the skin. For some examples, we have here that the, other than the amazing feeling and the smell and everything, we can calm the nervous system, a relaxed muscle, skin, anti-aging, so there are so many things and so many benefits that we can get by using our product, which is very, very good for us, first of all, to know what we have in our hands. And number two, if we know what we have, definitely it's very good to spread the word and have people know why we choose this kind of salt and oil scrub, uh, salt and oil scrub uh, instead of somebody uh, in another kind of uh, brand or something. Let's uh, move to the next uh, slide. Okay, this is uh, some uh, amazing facts about shea butter. It's not just a beautiful smell and the beautiful taste and the beautiful uh, feeling of, uh, of the cream. But other than that, other than uh, highly moisturizing, it's very smart to know that it's anti-inflammatory, especially for people that they work out a lot, like myself. It's amazing the feeling that I can, after the shower, I put this on my whole body. And I enjoy the smell and I enjoy the feeling, definitely. Other than that, it does a lot of job inside as well with anti-inflammatory um, 
benefit. Of course, we have the vitamin A and E and F, and even it works with psoriasis and eczema. It's amazing what we can have uh, with all these products. Now, let's move on to the men's products. I think it's a, for, for, for all the women, it's a very, we're very lucky because actually, when it comes to me, every Christmas, I have a very hard time what kind of present to buy for men because we all know that they they don't think like us they don't they are not really into shopping they might not think i uh, take care about clothing and stuff so since uh, i joined secret and since we have the men's uh, line in in europe i get so happy because i give this present for main days for christmas as I said earlier, for my dad, I ordered a big package with all the uh, supplements. Um, with uh, any cases. And actually, as I was uh, searching yesterday to see the benefits, for example, just the aftershave foam, which is amazing. My husband has been using that, but I never really knew before that of, uh, of um, how many numbers of benefits it can have with this specific uh, aftershave, let's say, home instead of any other any other product from the supermarket. And the benefits beside the vitamin A, C, and A, it, have, it helps a lot with shaving, with any kind of blemishes or any kind of irritation that shaving might cause, and a lot of other uh, benefits. So definitely, as I said before, much so for me it's like number one product easiest to move easiest to promote and it's very very good i mean it's very good uh, opportunity to give to every single person this christmas because the price is amazing and it's it's a product that everybody loves so i hope you guys will enjoy your christmas shopping um now we have like two more weeks left. We still have a lot of time to order uh, more stuff if we need to. Uh, if you guys uh, have any question, you feel free to ask me, but there's a lot of uh, information online, on Google, on our website. I, I just uh, search, I put on uh, searching um, before and after pictures of secret products. There's a lot of information coming up. I put benefits of secret products um, um, from any kind of uh, uh, products we have. So you can get a lot of education from there and you can take your time and see, uh, decide what kind of presents to give according to the um, necessities of people. So let me see, uh, sorry. So, Amazing, amazing. Thank you so much, Stella. We really loved your first training. Do you know what was absolutely brilliant for me was they don't know the value of the product until you explain it. That for me, that little tip there of printing those information sheets just on a simple A4, folding it and putting it inside the gift wrapping, mind blowing, absolutely um, mind blowing. Didn't realize my video wasn't on, but yeah, absolutely mind blowing. So guys, look, if you're on here, we've got, we've got over a hundred people on here today. If you're on here and you're intending on giving presents this Christmas, think like a business owner, think like a business owner. Okay. Because every time you give a gift that is marketing, right? That is, that is somebody experiencing your product that could turn into a loyal customer. Of course, we of course we give generously with our heart without expecting anything back at Christmas. And that's cool. But giving somebody an experience of our top best sellers, you know, mud soap, salt and oil scrub, body butter, th those are products that can convert somebody into a loyal customer for life. So you're missing an opportunity if you're going to give gifts and you're even thinking about having them not be a secret gift. You've completely missed the point. You've got to be thinking like a business owner right now for every single person um, that, that you're buying for. And Stella said it, right now in Europe, we've got like three-day delivery space. When I ordered for, for Black Friday, 
It was unbelievable because if you think about it, we placed the orders after the business day had finished. So, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday are not business days in a warehouse, are they? No. So that means the order hits the warehouse on Monday and we received those products Wednesday morning. So that was essentially like less than three business days that we got those products. So what I suggest for you to do is if you've got your pen and your paper right here, jot down who you're getting gifts for. And if you haven't already got something in stock, place your order. Do it today. If you do it today, that means first thing tomorrow, that warehouse is getting those gifts out. You've got time to prepare. You've got time to get them on Wednesday. You know, this week, you've got time to make a printout of that little infographic. Maybe even put, think, um, you know, like a little a little um, secret.com forward slash freedom creators or whatever your domain name is at the bottom. Um, not saying not saying freedom creators is my domain name, whatever your domain name is, by the way, don't, don't give me your business, put your domain name. That's important. That was just an example. Okay. Don't give away your customers. Um, <laughs> but you might want to just put a little thing, a little thing there as well for when, for when they're browsing. Um, and that's, and that's completely, completely cool. So I am, um, I'm excited. I'm really excited about that. So, so great, great job, Stella. Well done on your first training. Now, guys, we we it's literally just exciting lineup today. It's one after the other after the other of people that have got most incredible, incredible stories. Now, the next speaker, I just feel like the more I get to know about the story of this person, the more respect I have for them. The more my, um, the more I admire them, the more I say, wow, you know what? Adversity caused some people to break and other people to become record breakers. And what I have seen is when this man has hit adversity time and time again, and there have been some very difficult stories in his lifetime that he may share with you today. He may not broadcast um, publicly, but when I hear about them, I say, you know what? This is not a man that breaks. This is a man that becomes a record breaker. So what I want us to do again, I want you to congratulate our brand new platinum Gabor. Go ahead, unmute your mics. I want him to feel the love. I want him to feel the celebration. Unmute your mics right now. Congratulations, sweet man. Congratulations. I'm still muted. Is that better? Are we good? Yeah, better now, yeah. awesome. So I was just saying, I absolutely love that new way of like congratulating people, you know, really, really, really quickly. But we will also do a big congratulations for these guys live at Playbook coming up in um, the first weekend of February as well. But I want to tell a quick story just before Gabor starts with us, because recently Gabor was put through a situation where you know, it wasn't, it was a very emotional, difficult situation. It was something where there was no longer a leader left in his, in his market, unless somebody stepped up to the challenge and he stepped up and he worked hard and he got into the field and started taking action and black Friday weekend, he hit platinum. He followed everything that we shared for him to follow and took the team under his wing as well. See, it's not just, he's not the only one there. And that's what I love. You know, he's not going to be the only leader that comes out of this market. He is raising leaders right now. And that's what this is all about. So Gabor, um, over to you again. Also, I think your first training session, I've seen you train before um, a little bit in Hungary when I was out there, but today will be like your first official training as a platinum. So go ahead. Let's take that away. Welcome. All right. Thank you very much, guys. And thank you very much. Melanie for this nice certification. Uh, actually, this is my first thing uh, training in English uh, ever. So guys, please bear with me, all right? So don't be hard on me. I'll try to do my best. Okay, so my name is Gabor Kanas. I've been in this industry for almost 11 years. And basically when I started, I was in a really 
bad situation. Before that, I was in uh, real estate. I was a really successful real estate agent and real estate broker. And uh, unfortunately, in 2007, I had a big accident. I was paralyzed for five years. I lost everything with my wife. And uh, almost 11 years ago, network fi marketing find us when we were in a really bad financially financial situation. And uh, basically, we grabbed the opportunity and within six years, we turned our life around and basically uh, we became financially free and we get back everything what we lost uh, during that five year process while I was in, uh, in bed. Uh, so uh, my training is going to be about inviting, which is the gateway skill. It's, I would say, probably the most important skill in network marketing because uh, so many other skills you can learn in this industry. And you can be really good of that, but you can be the best presenter and you can be the best closer. If you, can invite, if you can't invite anybody to present or close, you're not going to have a business. So basically, this is the gateway skill that you have to learn because uh, once if you learn only this one skill, you can make a really large amount of money in this industry because anybody else can present for you or can close for you and can do the rest for you. But if you, if you cannot... Uh, invite people to see your opportunity, your product, uh, to our business, uh, you're not going to have much success in this industry. So, uh, so many other, so many type of invitations in uh, this industry, but what I'm going to teach you uh, tonight is, is the one that you can really practice during Christmas time when most people are home. And uh, this is the one that you do it over the phone and you do this invitation for watching a video. And we have a great uh, 12, present, uh, 12 minutes presentation video. It just, just came out uh, not a long time ago. And this is a great tool that you can use, you can send to people with this type of invitation. Before, but before I get into this uh, invitation training, uh, the first, uh, the first uh, very important thing you gotta understand, our goal is to educate uh, people and to get uh, and uh, collect their decisions. So education and understanding. Okay, that's all we want. Okay, so you need to be uh, more of a farmer to plant seeds and don't be a hunter. Okay, so we got to be consultant and not hunting people down. And uh, this is the way we're going to do this always when we are building this business. So uh, first, before you start to making phone calls and start to inviting people to see your opportunity, the first thing you got to put yourself in the right mindset okay you gotta understand uh what we got here we got a gift okay so we got the greatest thing on earth what can create uh, a better life for everybody who using our product or become a member of our club so uh never think people uh or never even think about that people doing favor to you because they're watching your presentation they're doing a favor for themselves uh to see what we have for them so basically you do you do in a favor for them to show them what we get okay this is very very important okay so we got a gift okay you guys have to have the right attitude okay so it's important you gotta believe you gotta believe in yourself this is super important you need to believe in yourself you need to believe in the products and you need to believe in the the company okay and another important thing you need to believe in your prospect as well because you're doing it for them you're not doing it for yourself you're doing it for them and if if you can put yourself in this way of thinking it's not about you it's about them they're gonna feel it you know so just hold on because i get some notes here and i want to make sure it's always right front of me so Another important thing, be yourself, okay? Don't use language what you never used before with your friends when you're calling them, okay? Don't use any strange language what we use here in network marketing because the jargon what we use here, it's uh, not the one you're using when you're talking to your friend. So just be yourself and talk to them the way you always talk to them, okay? So um, let's get into the invitation, okay? So basically, why I, uh, I learned this... <clears throat> Many years ago, uh, and because I moved away from the capital city in Budapest uh, to a small town in the countryside, 
And also I lived all around in the world in a lot of different places. So I developed relationships in a lot of places. And when you start network marketing, you know, you, you go to the nearest people to you, but sometimes those nearest people were, were not really near to me. I mean, my family members, my brother, for example, lives in the US. Okay, so if I wanted to show them, I had to invite, I had to invite him for to a live webinar presentation or the other way I can do that if I send him or send them a video if they live far away from me. So I basically, uh, I learned this uh, eight step invitation uh, technique and I've been using this eight step invitation technique for a very long time. And in the last, uh, I would say 10 years, I sponsored about 140 uh, actually over 300 people in my network marketing career, but uh, that was a short period where I was in the online network marketing company. If I'm, let's say, to like a normal, regular network marketing uh, business, I, uh, I sponsor around 150, 160 people in my career. So I sponsored a decent amount of people, but most of the people came in through this type of invitation where I send them a video. Okay. so. First thing first, so you get the right attitude, you have a right mindset, uh, you believe in yourself, you believe in the product, you believe in the company, you live in everything what you do, and uh, uh, and you also have to be in the right energy, you have to have the right energy as well when you do this uh, course. You know, I don't have, know what you have to do to put yourself in the right uh, in, in the right energy, but you know, you gotta have energy when you call them, you, you need to be excited because excitement, uh, if you are excitement, if you are excited, that creates excitement. Okay. So you gotta be excited when you make these calls. So first step, when you, uh, uh, let me share my screen. Uh, just give me a second, especially if I find it. I'll hold on for a second. Ah, here you go. Okay. Just a second. Okay, I have some technical issues, but I gonna okay. Um, I'm set. Okay, so first thing first, first step, you gotta be in a hurry. Okay, this is a psychological issue, uh, but people are always more attracted to the person who's busy and has things going on. And if you start every call face to, or face-to-face -face conversation with the feeling that you are in a hurry, you find your invitations be much shorter and there will be less questions and people will respect you and your time much more. And also, when you call someone and you tell them, listen, listen, if you call, let's say, if I call Melanie, listen, Melanie, I'm in a hurry, but I really wanted to talk to you. I only have a minute uh, because Melanie knows me and she knows me. I talk a lot. You know, she'd be happy. Listen, oh, thanks, God. She's not going to, he's not going to talk to me forever. So she'd be happy also. And it's not going to be, it's not going to be a long call. Or, okay. And don't forget, we always respect people who's respecting their time more and they busy. So, your first thing you call your friend, hey, how you doing? Listen, I don't have a lot of time, but I really want, wanted to talk to you. I only have a minute because I'm going for a meeting. Okay, or hold on for a second. Or I have a million things going on, but I'm glad I caught you. Or I'm running out the door, but I needed to talk to you really quick. Okay, so you got to be a, a, in a hurry. Uh, set the uh, tone with some urgency okay next step compliment the prospect compliment complimenting someone is critical okay uh, very important this compliment need to be sincere the sincere uh, compliment opens the door for to a real communications and will make the prospects much more agreeable to hearing what you have to say okay and uh, what was the last time anybody compliment you i mean think about that when you get a call from someone and someone says some nice thing to you that's always feels really good so you put this whole conversation to a much uh, higher level when you talk to the person and you give them a compliment and also he's gonna feel you're gonna warm, warm their heart when you compliment them okay here are some co uh, sample compliment scripts for more mar mar market prospects okay 
you've been widely successful and I always respect that the way you've done business or you've always been so supportive of me and I appreciate that so much. Or you are one of the most connected person I know and I always admire that about you. Okay, something really nice. If you say that to the person, I mean, it's, it's, sometimes it's going to be really difficult with people because it's going to... You, you need, okay, someone is on. Okay, so you really need to work on this with some people because it's, it's sometimes it's difficult to compliment people. But, you know, if you really think hard, you're going to find something to compliment on. Okay, so compliment, it's very important because it opens the door for a good uh, conversation. Okay, step three. Make the invitation. Okay, three different type of invitations we can do. We can do with the people who knows you, like the hot market. The, the people are knows you and respect you, knows you very well. They are using with them the direct approach. Also, people you respect uh, and uh, you, you look up to, you use the indirect uh, approach. And uh, peeps, with super successful people, who are people with uh, very, very successful people and people with the gigantic ego, okay, use the super indirect uh, um, version. Okay, so let's start the invitation. Okay, don't forget, uh, one size is, does not fit all. Okay, that's why we have direct, indirect, and super indirect uh, um, invitation types. And remember, you already done step one and two. So you were in a hurry and you complimented the person you're talking to. So for war market, especially if you know the person you're talking to and you know what their dissatisfaction uh, about life or about their work. So let's say you call your friend, you already done step one and two and you tell them, listen, when you told me you hate your job, were you serious or were you just kidding around? Wait for the answer. It's probably the answer is going to be, yeah, I really hate my job. Great. I think that I'll find a way. How can we get you out of that? Okay. Or just call your friends. You done step one and two, and you tell them, I think I'll find a way for us to really boost our cash flow. Or find something really, I find something you really need to see. I'm launching a new business. I really want you to take a look at that. Okay. So, you see all these, uh, I hope you guys are making notes because it's gonna be an exercise when we finish with that. this. So please take notes and uh, use, you can use these when you going to call your friends. Or are you still looking for a job? I find a way for both of us to start a great business without all the risks. Okay, so creating curiosity is super important, okay? Basically, how you make the invitation, you create curiosity. Okay, let's go see the indirect scripts. Okay, indirect scripts uh, are for for, the, for um, this is a very powerful tool uh, for helping people to get past through their initial resistance. Uh, and understand your opportunity. Okay, so basically, is this is when you are uh, asking for help or asking for guidance for people. Okay, basically, if you think about that, you can even compliment uh, a most cynic person or a most critical thinker as well, and they're going to agree to watch your video. Okay, so let's do the indirect skips. I just started a new business and I'm scared to death. Before I get going, I need to practice on someone friendly. Would you mind if I practice on you? So let's say you call your best friend, but you are afraid of him a little bit. And you go with this indirect approach because don't forget our goal is uh, education and understanding. We just want to show them. We don't want to tell them. We just want to show them and we want them to understand. So we get we have to get them front of the video or the presentation or another version. Uh, I'm thinking about getting started with a business. I can run from uh, my home. Would you help me check it out and see, is it, is it for real? Okay. Or I find a business I'm really excited about, but what do I know? You have so much experience. Would you look at it for me? 
uh, if it made easy and let me know if you think I'm making the right move. Or you can go with this uh, version. A friend told me the best thing I could do when to start a business is to have people I respect take a look at it and give me some uh, guidance. Would you be willing to do that for me if I made it simple? And even if you, let's say you called uh, your most cynical friend, you know, you, everybody's got negative friends, okay? So you can call your most negative friend, your most cynical friend, and you can tell them, listen, uh, I was thinking about that, who is my most critical friend? Who's the one who's check out everything inside out? Who's the one who, taken a good, who, who can take a, a good thing apart and find a scam in it? And, Hey, it's you, man. And you know what he's going to say? Listen, man, thank you very much. I've been working on this for a while. Okay, so this for this negative person, you can say that. Uh, I started a business and I really need someone to help uh, make, help me poke holes in it. Nothing gets past you. Would you be willing to examine it for me? Okay, even a negative person who is very critical thinker, if you uh, compliment them about this and you ask them to check out something for you, because if that if you check it out this for me, nothing's gonna get past you and uh, you're gonna find out this is gonna be good for me or not. Okay, so this is the type of uh, indirect tips that you can use for people when you're gonna when you can ask them for help or for guidance. And let's go for the third version, the super indirect scripts which is for people are very super successful or anybody got, probably you guys got friends too with the gigantic egos. And if you would do, if you would approach them with the normal pitch, they would be, uh, uh, it would be resistance. Okay. So you wouldn't able, you wouldn't be able to go through, through that wall. So you have to trick them in a way and you can use the super indirect scripts. Okay. So for example, the business, I mean, clearly isn't for you, but I wanted to ask, who do you know that ambitious, money-motivated, and would be excited about the idea for adding more cash flow to their lives? Okay. Or who do you know that might be looking for a strong business they could run from their home? So basically, asking a help from a friend, do they know someone would be interested? Or... Who do you know that has hit a wall in their business and might be looking for a way to diversify their income? Especially these days, so many uh, businesses went bankrupt and you can call people and ask them, do they know anybody who's in struggle and they're looking for a new opportunity? Or do you know anyone involved in a serious job search? So the super indirect uh, approaches are uh, incredibly powerful and play on a number of psychological levels. And this is our network marketing approach that uh, uh, asks as the prospect if they know someone else that might be benefit from your business, okay? I use this approach uh, very often and, and it's uh, amazing people uh, giving you names, but in most cases, they are going to ask you for more information. And you can tell them, you know, because, you know, they don't want to uh, introduce you to anybody without knowing the information. And you can tell them that makes sense. You want to know more about that before you refer some uh, contacts for me. And then you just move to step four. Very simple. Okay. So this is the super indirect skips. Step four. This is the most powerful two words. I would say network marketing. If I would you, this is really, really good. And I, be, you, I believe it, it's working in every single language. It works hunger, in Hungarian very well. I've been using this every time when I invite someone and uh, with uh, really large success. So we have the 12 minutes video or you can use like a, uh, recorded webinar presentation. Sometimes I'm, a lot of times, most of the times I'm using my own webinar uh, half an hour presentation, but the 12 minutes video also great. So if I give you a link to, uh, to a short 
12 minutes video that explained everything. Would you click on it and watch it? It's super simple. If I give you a link to a short 12 minutes video that explained everything, would you click on it and watch it? Because if they say no, you don't have to carry on doing the invitation. You can tell them, okay, man, cool. So you're probably super busy. Listen, I'll call you next week. Bye. And you just hang on the phone. But most people, if you did the first uh, three steps right, most people, I would say 99% of the people is going to agree, going to say yes. Okay. I very rarely I bump into someone if I do the first th three steps correctly, would say no for me uh, when I move into step four. Okay. So step five. Get the, because it's super important. A lot of people think just because someone said yes to them, they already commented and watched the video. Uh, this technique, what I show you with this uh, uh, way, with this eight step invitation and take your, take you, take you from 10% uh, watching rate up to almost 90% watching rate. It's a statistic on it because most people, what they do, they just send the video and, you know, no one ever is going to watch it because it's end up in some email uh, address and the person you would invite you you did invite he never took the time because it was never committed so you need to get the time commitment okay when do you think you could watch the video for sure okay this is super important so so when they agreed to watch the video you ask them when do you think you could watch the video for sure okay so they're going to say something, listen, I can watch it tonight or I can watch it tomorrow, whatever, you know, but they're going to say something. When can they watch it for sure? Okay. Moving to step six. The, the key is to get them to say yes a second time when they get the time commitment. Okay. Saying yes to step four is not a comment that I just said earlier. So we already have two yes, okay? He agreed twice, okay? We need four yeses to have this uh, invitation to be super successful, okay? So step six, confirm. Most, now we get the time confirmation. If they tell you they watch the video by Tuesday night, your response should be, so if I call you Wednesday morning, you have seen it for sure, right? Okay, so if I call you Wednesday morning, you have seen it for sure, right? And uh, they're going to say something, yes, okay, because that's what they said. They watched that Tuesday night, and you tell them, if I call you Wednesday morning, you've seen it for sure, right? Let's say, don't call me Wednesday morning because I'll be busy. But they already told you they watched it. Okay, so step six, so step seven, okay. So you are, you are already three yeses, okay? You already had three yeses, we need the fourth yes. It's very important to ask them, okay, what would be the best uh, number, WhatsApp, Messenger, Viber, you know, we use so many different devices, people using so many different devices, and you know, you even ask them what would be the best device to call you on, okay? So what would be the best number and time for me to call? So get the time uh, commitment, you know, they will tell you the time, a lot of time, a lot of, Times people will tell you, no, I, I'll call you. No, tell them, don't call me because I'm super busy. I'm running the business. I have business meeting all the time. And if you call me when I'm on the biz, uh, on a meeting or on a presentation, I won't be able to pick up the phone. So I'll call you later. And then you won't be pick up. You won't be able to pick up the phone. So you will be going to hunt each other forever. That's so amateur. Be professional. Give it the time would be the best for me to call you okay so when you have this little conversation people will uh, will feel that you are uh, serious about that and they will give you the time okay so when they give you the time the next step the eighth step is you remember you're in a hurry the best thing is to say something like that great well talk then go around bye and you just hang up the phone okay so this is the eight step invite. If you do this eight step right, uh, you are uh, gonna rise your success level from 10% to up to 80, 90%. Uh, I mean, think about it. You invite 20 people with this invitation, you can do this invitation in less than a minute. 
you can invite 20, 20 people in less than half an hour. And in the, in the old days when most people didn't know how to invite, uh, they just send a video and usually out of 20, usually one or two people watch the video. With this invitation technique, you can rise it up to 80, 90%. So 16, 18 people going to watch the video. And basically our goal is just to show them what we got and collect their decisions when we finish it. Okay, so that would be my uh, training. And basically it's gonna be a break now, I believe. And uh, I have a, uh, I have a, a job for you guys because we're gonna have, I believe a four, short 15 minutes break. And I, ho I hope you took notes and you know how the steps are following each other. So basically in the next 15 minutes, try to do as many calls as you can and try to set up uh, 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 invitations with people so they can watch the video and you can follow up on them. Okay, thank you very much, Melanie, for the opportunity back to you. Thank you. Amazing. Great job, Gabor, with so much information there for everybody. So we're going to have a quick 15 minute action break. So this is not a break break. This is not a coffee break. This is not a dinner break. This is a 15 minute action break. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to set a goal of three people that you're going to invite in this 15 minutes. That's the bare minimum. Okay. I want you to pick one invite that you absolutely love from the training. And by the way, here's something really cool that I just want to add to Gub Boys training is if you use an indirect invite, right? And you invite somebody like, hey, you know what? Um, you know, you're one of my most skeptical friends, but I really want you to take a look at this, this business and, you know, see if you find anything in it. Man, I'm bringing my mentor to that to that meeting because I've invited them, right, to really take a look. But I know they're not going to beat my mentor. So I'm taking Afrosini with me. I'm taking Gabor with me. Maybe I'm taking Troy Brown with me. But if I'm using that invite, I'm making sure I'm inviting them to meet my business partner as well. So guys, we've got 15 minutes. We're going to be back here at 25 past. So that's 25 past, we're coming back and I'm gonna ask you how the invites went. So the minimum goal is three invites. Let's see if we can beat that and we are going on our break. Okay, let me put that into that. That needs to be good. I some energy. All right, are we back? Are we back? Are we back? Well, let me see in the chat if you are back. Let me see in the view, in the gallery view. Get your video cameras back on. I see Maria. I see our Italian translator, Maria Stella. I see you, Nushi. Who else do I see? Herbert. Hey, good to see you. So let's get those videos back on. Annabella's here. Betty's here. Who else is here? The break is officially over. It's getting back to work. So let me see on the chat right now, who managed to do three invites? Let me see if you managed to do three invites. In fact, if you did one or more, just type in the number that you did on the chat. I want to see the number of invites that we did. So we've got 92 people on here right now, 92 people who still focused. By the way, notice that at some point we were 120. Now we're 90. People don't stay the course. People don't stay focused. It's part of the game. But are you going to be the focused one? Zahira, two, great job. Meryl, two. Lydia, one. Castellina. Castellina, what a cool name. Two. Ziggy, two. I'm looking for a three. I'm looking for a three. I'm looking for a three. Who hit the goal of three invites? Sandy, one. Elena, uh, Elena Pelandrido, two. Kathy, two. I'm looking for a three. Where's the three at? Another two, another two, another two. So always remember my mentor was saying to me, don't let minimums become maximums. So the minimum we were gonna do as a group was gonna be three each, right? So I'm just saying, maybe you guys gotta put in a bit of extra effort tonight once we wrap up this training um, to go ahead and have an extra 
an extra invite. So nevertheless, you did the work, you took the action on the break. I'm very, very proud of you. So collectively, that's two. Let me let me see collectively how many we did. If somebody wants to add that up for me, that would be awesome. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, so 20 invites were done. 20 invites as a group were collectively done. So that means, let's say our conversion ratio as a group is good. That means this week we could have six new people getting started, maybe 10 new people getting started because not everybody says yes. So the more invites you do, the more presentations you have, the more presentations you have, the higher that ratio goes of people getting started. So great job, everybody. So that was 20 invites done and maybe some people are playing shy today. Maybe some people aren't sharing with us what they're doing. So that's all good. Now, I'm very excited about the next speaker. Um, I'm starting to like jazz this up because I know we are, you know, literally short on time today. But the next speaker is all the way from a different continent. We've not got a European speaker on next. This is somebody that has faced adversity in Africa. They got started from the get-go in secret and they had to build through tough times. What do I mean by tough times? Times when... There was no back office in their country. Times when everything seemed to be going against them. Times when they didn't yet have a warehouse. Times when, you know, they, and, and you know, they like, you can use some things that can be the reason why you don't build. And some things you can go, it's okay, we'll find a solution and we'll keep moving forward. And it sounds like this lady who is a mother of four has taken it underneath her belt and gone, do you know what? Let me be the leader because leadership is taken, not given. Nobody appoints you as a leader here. You have to take leadership and go run with it. And she said, let me be the one. Let me lead Nigeria. And so it's my absolute pleasure to welcome Ziggy for the first time to our Super Sunday. Ziggy, let's take it away. Wow. <laughs> Can you hear me and see me? Yeah. Yes. Yes, I can. Awesome. Thank you so much, Melanie, for that introduction. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me on the call as a speaker today. I'm super, super excited. And I'm just excited listening to all the other trainers, starting from Troy Brown. <laughs> My goodness, absolutely gave us everything. And of course, uh, listening to um, uh, Talo and Gabor as well. I just used your, um, your uh, uh, invitation uh, training and I, I got someone who didn't watch my video for the longest time commit to watching it now on Monday evening. So thank you so much. There's just so much to learn every day from everyone. And I'm just very excited. So today I'm going to, um, let me just quickly share my screen as well. Um, like she said, okay, um, if you can enable me to share my screen. Um, yes. Okay. Okay. So can you all still hear me? Yeah, we're good. We're good to go. We see your okay, screen. We see your beautiful Fantastic. face. So awesome. <laughs> okay, thank you, Melanie. So yeah, so um, just like Melanie said, you know, um, we are all different in different ways and we're just going to share with you. I'm going to share with you today uh, my story from Secret and what has worked for me and how I am where I am and where I'm going today as well. And so the first thing I wanted to share with you was uh, the fact that I personally had started off my own business, in the, uh, which I built for 16 years, which is called the Medical Rescue 911. Had to do with bringing patients from Nigeria for medical treatment in Cape Town, uh, giving people second chances for cases that we can't get treated in my country, and we have the facilities here to treat them. And this is something that I loved because of the, you know, the the, the impact it had on a lot of people who literally had no hope and stuff like that. And then I ventured into the network marketing industry uh, with the uh, previous company in travel because I love to travel. That was the first attraction. And then as a business person, I saw the bigger picture of what the industry could do for me. So, but I still really loved doing what I was doing. And then we went into secret. And there was always this thing about, you know, who you are, not really knowing who I am. Some people know me for medical rescue. Some people know me for secret. Uh, some people who need secrets only know me for medical rescue. And they're like, oh, I didn't know you did that. So it got to a point where I said, you know what? Who am I? Who do I want people to know me as? What's my brand? And I decided to marry my brand, to make my brand. And so everywhere on social media, on my platforms, you will see this poster on there. Uh, sorry, someone should get muted, please. Yeah. Please check who's got their mic open. Thank you. 
Go ahead, Ziggy. You're on mute right now, so unmute yourself and go ahead. Yeah, so for me, that step of just deciding that this is my brand, I'm secret and I'm medical rescue, and I'm out there to do these two things that I really love, and I was able to marry them in such a way that I'm this is like the same thing. So if you go to my website, you will see a whole page on secret on recovery and preventive and recovery health. So you, you know, so this was huge, a huge step for me because now everybody knows me that this is Ziggy. This is who Ziggy is. Everyone that says, oh, it's, they know me for secret. They know me for saving lives. And that's it. So it's so important to define yourself and define who you are as far as the secret business is concerned, especially if you have a job or any other thing you're doing. So is it still that, you know, thing by the side that, you know, comes up to you every now and again, or is it a business? Is it is this another business of yours that you are putting in your time full time and making it what it should be? So very huge. And so for me, doing my business, I had built for 16 years. The bottom line is anytime I don't have any patients, I don't earn any money. But with secret, secret for yeah, me is my right. retirement yeah, yeah. business. And I'm looking out for people that I can share that with and help them build the same. I'm 50 already this year, like a lot of you know. So, but with secret, what happens is that as I build my business, even if I don't have a sign up today, I still earn money because other people I'm helping are having sign ups. Or my customers, you heard uh, uh, Scarlo talk about building a customer base. My customers who already love secret and are using secret are buying products again and I'm earning cycles. So it is so important that this is the business that literally will give you long term residual income. If you come from a business background, if you've ever built a business on your own or uh, started off your own company or something, you will know what I'm talking about. So just having the privilege of having that value from secret, now marrying that with what I have done my entire, you know, for the last 16 years, which I built myself, it's just a big blessing. So if you are in a situation where you have something you're doing, whether you're working a job, you have another company you're, you know, you're running or whatever it is, I'm telling you, you need to find your niche. You need to uh, find your brand and marry yourself marry your business uh, with secret and know, you know, define who you are, define what secret is for you and how you're going to put it into what you are doing. So you are known for it and it's part of your fabric of who you have become. So that doing that made a big difference for me. It made me so comfortable being able to take secret to any level because now it is my business, my own thing as well. All right. So the next thing I had to do was also find my niche in secret. Now we came from a place where you are doing one thing and all of a sudden we find a buffet of three different things. For some people when they go for to a wedding and they see a buffet of you know different types of food they get overwhelmed. They're like ah there's so much food I can't even try all those things I'll just take one thing. But other people will go like me and I see a buffet of food I say mm, I love to explore I like to enjoy different things and I'm like okay I'm going to take a little bit of everything and enjoy and see you know which one I like and all that and which one I'm going to eat next time or something like that. So some people struggle to you know uh, to, you know deal with the whole buffet of products. So if you're in that category, find your niche. I had a time where I felt a little bit overwhelmed with all the different products. How do you start? How do you pitch? Even when you share the video, how do you know what resonates with somebody? So I said, okay, let me start with what resonates with me, and that was the nutrition because of the medical business that I did. So I looked at my age, a lot of people of my age, most of my friends at this age, they are thinking of their health. So I pitched my tent right there in nutrition. And through that nutrition, all those same people, including my cancer patients who were focused on getting their life back, started to use the, the, the skincare. And from there, they're like, oh my goodness, so if I get my own account, I can actually get a free getaway. They're now looking forward to booking their getaway trips. So find an entry point. If you're struggling to go in or in with all three, find your entry point and use that as a way to then explore the entire opportunity. Trust me, the three products we have, these three things you see in front of you, everybody in the world needs it. Like we all know, we all have a skin. Everybody needs it. Everybody, health doesn't go out of fashion, never. 
I had to sell my guest house and all of that in 2019, which I was using to house my patients and all of that. Through network marketing, I recognized that baggage was just not necessary. I could still do my medical education without all that baggage. So I let that go. So I became freer, had more time to be able to do what I really wanted to do. But then the, in the beginning of the year, right after lockdown, people started reaching out to me for medical evacuations because medical doesn't go out of fashion. You don't have anything without your help. So that's such a very powerful product that we have, not just because it's a nutrition supplement, because it's a nutrition supplement that works, yes, that actually works. Because I'm in the medical, I am surrounded by doctors, I work with them every day, so I can tell you that our nutrition product has no competition in this world. No competition. You know, so it's really, really important to find your niche. And then you get in from there and you'll be amazed how you then lock yourself or lock the, your friends and family into all the other opportunities that we have or products that we have on the table. Now, I want to quickly talk about the gym top story. I'm sure a lot of you have heard this story because we're all, uh, uh, we've all come from different places and backgrounds trying to build this business. But one thing that is constant in building a business is adversity. Like you heard Melanie talk about, the, the problems never stop coming. It's part of the fabric of growth. This is a guy who was supposed to run in the US Olympics. And in the morning of his Olympics, his two uh, shoes, uh, running shoes were stolen. He didn't decide that he wasn't going to run again. He didn't say, oh, I need to have running shoes to be able to run. He went to, to a garbage bin to pick out two different pairs of shoes, two different pairs of socks, and he ran his race and still won two gold medals. Guys, we heard all the speakers talking today. It's all about focusing on your goal and where you want to be, irrespective of what is going on around you, the noise. Like Melanie said in my introduction, we had serious adversity in Africa as a whole with all the shipping issues, uh, you know, not having all the products and all sorts of things. I mean, for my own country where I come from in Nigeria, I decided I was going to build in that country with my sister and my other leaders who were already working there. And we had serious adversity. We couldn't make purchases more than $100 from our local cards in a whole month. Meanwhile, we were supposed to be selling $5,000 a day at least if we wanted to hit platinum or silver or whatever to get Nigeria on the back office of CP. We were not even on the back office. But the only thing that helped us was staying focused and asking the solution question. Whatever you face, what you ask yourself is, what is the solution to this problem? Okay, this is the problem. What are the solutions? How can we go around it? The moment you ask that question, you begin to see. You begin to see options. So this issue of, oh, this is this, this is that, there's literally nothing that can stop us from going to where we want to go if we decide we want to go there. So we just stay focused. No matter the adversity, we ask the solution question always and you will see the different alternatives. We found solutions for all those problems. We're making sales of over $5,000 daily as against $100 in a month per card. I mean, it's mind blowing what you can do when you have the right attitude and mindset and all of that. So very, very important for us with our business. Now, for me, in terms of our secret business and keeping up our momentum right now, for coming out of Black Friday with all the amazing things that the company is infusing into the business, it's all about consistency, consistency, consistency. And I'll tell you, first of all, you have to be consistent in consuming your own product. Guys, if you don't consume your product, nobody else will consume your product. If you think your product is too expensive for you, everyone you meet out there will feel the same because whatever you have inside of you, you already impose on the other. As you're going out to invite or to meet up your friend, whatever you're thinking your friend will do or your friend will feel or your friend will say, that's what they will end up telling you. You put your thoughts on them. So if you look at yourself and your family and you think you don't deserve these incredible products, trust me, nobody will buy your products. Nobody will use them. Nobody will sign up with you. Now I want to show you, um, I have a lot of situations where sometimes when leaders are telling people, be product of the product, use your products, they feel, oh, they just want us to keep buying these products. You know, here, 
I'm going to do something. I'm going to stop to share my screen quickly and I'm going to show you something. So this year, I decided I was going to start collecting the empty containers of my youth products. These are all the skincare products that I have used myself. Myself this year, not my husband, not my four daughters. They're all in different locations. They have theirs. I also have books like this in Nigeria as well when I go there. And these are all my empty containers. I don't know if you can see all of it. These are all used. They're empty, right? Hair products, mud masks. Body butter, glow, hair glow, all finished. You can see them, toner and all. I don't know if you can see them clearly. So that's one. Now, these are all my nutrition products. I have finished all this myself. These are mine. Our products are not just for sick people. They're for you to stay healthy, keep yourself healthy and don't get to the point where you become sick. They're incredible. So these are all mine. I have all used up my vitamin D, everything. Oh, and I do my blood works regularly. The changes are incredible. The, the results speak for themselves medically. So that's that. And finally, I'm not done yet. These are all the empty containers of my shakes <laughs> that I have consumed by myself. You can see that these are all empty that I have finished. You can see, completely empty, right? So I just want to tell you that when we tell you to be a product of your product, we're not just telling you to do that. We're telling you because we know that's the right thing for you. And that's what we do as well. Right. And trust me, when you start consuming your product, just give me a second. I just tried to get back onto my slide. So when you start consuming your product, what that did for me was everything started to show on me in terms of my energy levels, my skin, my uh, health. And people ask me, sometimes I don't have to talk about secrets. People ask me, Ziggy, what's happening? You're, you're radiating, you're glowing. And then I'm like, would you like to know my secret? And that's it. We start from there. Or I give them my card. Let's talk about that. This is my secret card, which I use. And that's my other business here. Yeah. So that is what I do. So your product will speak for you through yourself, your energy levels, how you're always undergo. My patients see that I, I go through all these appointments and then I come back and I sit down and I'm doing a secret presentation in the evening, two or three. And they're like, how is she doing this? My supplements. So, so important to constantly, consistently consume your products. Consistently share secrets. Now, when you, when secret has become a part of who you are, it becomes automatic when you are sharing secrets. It is in every conversation. There's literally no conversation that I'm having that secret doesn't get into the conversation, right? So it's in every conversation. I don't, I don't, I can't discuss with anyone without discussing secret. I'm going to, right now you get to a point where you feel, oh my goodness, all my numbers are gone. I don't know who to call. You know, ever, ever felt that stuff? I don't, I, I've exhausted everybody I know. What do you do? Get up, go out. I go for all sorts of networking events. I actually said, what's happening in Cape Town? What's happening in Nigeria? Where's this business? I go for those networking events. I'm meeting new people every day and I'm sharing my, my uh, uh, secret with them every single day. So it becomes a part of you because you're taking it. The more you take it, the more you, you are blown away by the value. The more you are just completely in complete belief of your, of your product and your company and where you're going with what you're building. You see how people, every, you see how you are desperately looking for someone you can help with this product. Like uh, Gabor said, it's not about you anymore. It's about, oh my goodness, how many people out there are suffering with different things and this will be able to help them, you know? So it becomes something that you can't do without. So you're, you have to consistently share secrets. There's nothing you build without consistency. I've built a business and I'm telling you from a business there's nothing you build without consistency. There's nothing, absolutely nothing. So attend training consistently. You can see what we're doing here. Sometimes it's like, ah, we're always having training. What's, what, what's the, you know, you hear the same thing over and over again. Trust me, repetition, what it does for you. I mean, it just, it, it, it not only keeps you close to the fire, it just gives you new energy. It gives you new ideas. I can't begin to tell you 
how much notes I've taken today from all the speakers and I'm going to apply them as well. So you just keep seeing new ways and new things and you, you know, keep, keep getting, knowing your company more and knowing what it is you have in your hands. So training is critical. Uh, this year, I also took that decision that without actually going for a physical training, it's so difficult for, for you to, for the, for the um, how do I put it, for the secret um, vibe to get into you. So I took a decision and I told Henry, I said, we're going to Venice. We have to go to Venice. If we don't go to Venice, it's as if secret is still somehow far away from us. Even though I've been to the head office, I've met Isaac, I have all that going for me. I still feel that going to a life training makes all the difference. So I'm looking for people in Africa who are ready to go to Venice with us next year. Harry and I are going to be there. I'm looking for others to join us. Let's make that trip. I'm telling you, it's going to be a totally different experience and takes our belief and everything about secret to the next level. Now, showing secrets consistently is how you sow seeds consistently. Now, let's go back to our three products that I showed you before. We are so fortunate and privileged to have three products. I want you to think about a farmer. Normally you have products that you put, seeds that you plant, corn, the uh, you know, orange, different things. They all have different uh, harvest times. They all have uh, uh, different growth periods and all of that. We are so lucky to have three different products. All of us just came out of a pandemic. We already see. We never knew that there will be a time that travel will be dead completely or completely difficult for anyone to do. So that crop, planting it at that season would definitely not be able to germinate. But we had two other crops we could plant. The net health, we could plant. The skincare, we could plant. There'll be a time where those two may not be so important to people and you have to plant only healthcare or plant travel. So we have three different crops that we can plant at different times, or we can plant together, each having different harvest times, and we're continuously having a, a season to reap what we have planted. Now, we have a lot of people who also sit and pray. I love to pray. But the truth is, because we know that when you sow a seed, that's all you can do. The aspect of the seed being germinated and harvest coming is not in your hands. It's in the hands of the Almighty. But if you don't sow and you only pray. The Lord has nothing to uh, germinate and harvest, bring to harvest for you. You can pray all you want. If you are not sowing any seeds, nothing can ripen, nothing can germinate, nothing can come up for you. So what we have within our power is the ability to get up every single day and go and share our secrets. Go and share our opportunity. Go and share what our products can do for people out there. Do that. Like Gabo said, show them. Go and show them. Like Stalo said, give them the gifts. The Christmas gifts. Let them experience and taste these products. That's your job. The aspect of it now translating to harvest time, leave that to your consistent faith. Have faith in the process. Have faith in the process. Unless you take do the activity, you cannot have any process to have faith in. So it is so important that the activity, the action, the sowing, the sharing, the using of the products, these are all the different ways we sow consistently. So for you to build this secret business, it's not going to happen by a stroke of chance or a stroke of luck. No. It's only when you're sowing that your stroke of luck can come through that faith and through the help of the Almighty too. Because you're showing every day and one day you show this one person or these two people or these three people that become the people Melanie was talking about that goes diamond in a month. Or sorry, Troy was talking about the two, mother and the uh, daughter. But if you are not going out there to sow this seed, the there's, no the there's no way you can come to that point in time. So, I want you to, I saw this poster and I found it very, very intriguing. This is actually my closing because I know that Afrosini has to come on now. So if you see this, there are three funny stages in life. The teen stage, have time, energy, but no money. Working age, have money, energy, but no time. Old age, you have time and money, but no energy. This really got me. Because I'm in Cape Town, it's a tourist city. Every time you go out, tourists are packed full in Cape Town. 
But then you see the different groups. You see the old people who are trying to travel now. They now have money, they now have time, but you see them and you know that, ah, they have no energy. They're just saying, ah, I wish I could have done this, but you know, they just have no energy. Right now we're sitting with an opportunity and a concept that allows us to have these three things, time, energy, and money from your teenage age. So if you're a teenager on this call, you can have it as a teenager. If you're a working age person on this call, you can have those three things right now. If you're an old age person, it's not too late. You can still have it. The energy part, we will give it to you from our, where's my recovery? From our recovery, we will give it to you. <laughs> so Secret can give you these three things still now. So you need to get on board with what we are doing. Get on board with what we are doing. Let's go out there and set our goals for the rest of the year up until playbook. That's what I've done for myself. I've set myself a goal from now till playbook. I've decided to go to Venice and I can't be the same. I can't be where I am when I'm going to Venice. There has to be something different. And so if you don't set those goals, you will not be able to take the move. You're not walking towards anything. What are you walking towards? You're not walking towards anything. So it's time for us to put ourselves together, take a decision to have these three things, time, energy, and money. In whatever stage in life we are, we can have it. And we begin to take the motions and do what we need to do. So if you're on board with that, after this call, after we've listened to Afrosini this evening, I want us to all set our goals, share your goal with someone so that you become accountable. You become accountable to that goal and decide what you're working towards. Already we have gotten all the tools from Troy and uh, uh, Gabor and uh, 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 Stalo and Melanie, how we're going to do that. So I'm not going to cover anything on that. So it's a question of doing those things that we have learned right now to begin to walk towards those goals and get to where we want to be and also free ourselves eventually and all. But one thing I want to leave you with as I close my session is to tell you that we've got gold. We've got gold. This is a product that I consume on a daily basis. I have used to help so many uh, 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 medically challenged people, but I am super healthy. You don't have to be unhealthy or sick to use Secret. It prevents you, it protects you from it. So in terms of the nutrition, of course. And of course, my skin, your skin, look at my hair. I tied it up. I wish I left it out all based on the Secret products as well. So we've got gold in our hands. Let's put ourselves together. Let's go all out and make the most of what we've given. We've got gold. We've got the best company. We've got uh, a CEO that is willing to do what he says he will do. He has over-delivered. We don't have any more excuses. Let's wear the hat of the solution question. Whatever it is you're facing right now, wear the hat of the solution question. Don't let anything stand in your way, guys. Don't let anything stand in your way. So I want to thank you all for listening. I hope you found benefit in what I shared this evening. And I'm not kidding. I want to know who and who is going with me to Venice. I'm very excited. I can't wait to meet Melanie and Afrosini for the first time in real life. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, just to meet the rest of the Secret family and, um, and take this thing to the next level. Thank you. Over to you, Melanie. Wow. 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 I can't wait to see more of you. That was so powerful. Like that energy, that power that you bring, like, I don't know whether Europe's even ready. Like you're going to come here and you're going to take over. I can already feel it. Like Europe should be scared. She's coming for your people guys. I'm telling you, that's what, like, I'd be like recruiting like crazy right now. Cause if I, I hear that Ziggy's coming to Europe, I'm like, Oh no. Oh no. This is crazy. Like she's going to be recruiting everyone with that kind of energy. It's absolutely insane so guys we are ready we are ready for the final speaker of the day she's going to be sharing some very um critical important things with us um coming up for the um next few minutes we are running a little bit late but we won't go over more than 10 15 minutes okay mm -hmm. we definitely want to respect your time um we had such a brilliant speaker in the beginning we definitely didn't want to cut anybody short on this so um Without further ado, I want to bring up my incredible business partner, you know, like without her, 
we would not be where we are today. She's somebody that, you know, she's so great at like problem solving, at leadership, at handling situations. She's somebody that I don't believe Europe would be where it's at today without her. So let's hand it over to Efrasini for the rest of the night. Listen. Hello, hello, hello. Guys, I think it's very difficult to follow on from what we've just experienced today because there were so many gold nuggets. There was so much valuable information. But uh, at the end of the day, though, this information means absolutely nothing if you do nothing with it. And I want to share a couple of stories with you guys before we wrap things up because we're just going to bring this to a close right now. Before I do, I know that a bunch of you guys, firstly, who's already booked for Venice? Who is booked for Venice? I saw a bunch of people saying, Marilena, Shiran, Shalom, Zahira, Anna, Laurencio, Lydia. You know what I'm excited about? I'm excited to see all the people coming from, from Africa. Uh, anybody coming from Africa, please write down on the chat how many hours it will take you to make the flight to Venice. Okay, because they were telling me the story the other day and I I honestly had to to you, okay? Just write how many hours it's taking you to get to Venice. So Sandy says 14 hours, okay? Amazing Sandy, Sandy's coming from Zimbabwe. I know someone told me they were going to spend 30 hours. And I'll tell you what, guys, it's also quite expensive to come from Africa to Venice. You know what makes me sad? There's people from Italy that can drive to Venice, but will not make the sacrifice. And this is what I want to speak to you guys about. I want to talk to you guys about choosing the path of least resistance. I've got a lot of amazing friends, but I have this one friend and I love her to bits. She's like a sister to me. Uh, we've known each other. I think when I met her, she was 16 years old. And this lady was beautiful, very beautiful to look at, very talented, had an amazing voice, still has an amazing voice. In fact, when she was 18 years old, she got approached by the manager of the Fugees. If you don't know who the Fugees are, uh, one of the most uh, famous songs is Killing Me Softly. And, you know, she got approached in order to uh, possibly manage her. But at the time, her boyfriend at the time did not let her. Now, she could have basically pushed and said, you know what, this is for my career. And not to put that on the, on the side. The relationship didn't last, but her career could have lasted. But she chose the path of least resistance. She didn't want to confront him. She didn't want to aggravate him. So she didn't go for it. Then a couple of years later, that, that relationship didn't last. She moved to another city. She decided to start a business, a solarium business. Started taking off really, really well. But then things got a little bit difficult because again, she ran into another challenge. So she let go of the business. She had a couple of kids. While she had a couple of kids, she had other opportunities that came into her lap. In fact, a few years ago, because I saw her just, she kept on struggling. This is someone that had so much potential. She started designing her own clothes and started designing her own shoes and was selling them at $300 per pair. But then things got a little bit difficult and she let go of that business as well. There's so many stories along the way. I even introduced her to our last company. I signed her up. She was one of the first people that I enrolled when I moved over to Australia. On one side, I put a bunch of people under her. She could have literally built the one side. She had so much spillover. She never even needed to put anybody on the team lane. She had one event. That one event, she enrolled three people. Two of them quit within a week. And that basically pushed her down on the ground. She felt sorry for herself. 
And guys, everybody goes through this, by the way. I mean, I'm sure right now you guys watching these, I am sure there's people that are watching these that you've been rejected. Maybe you had your best friend tell you you're crazy. Maybe you signed up your best friend and then they cancel the next day. I'm sure if you've been, if you've been around the block a little bit, especially, you know, listening to Ziggy, listening to Gabor, listening to Stalo, these are people that are not here by accident. The people that get to platinum and above, because you can hit bronze, royale, silver, gold, you can hit those, those levels with just numbers and enthusiasm. The people that get to platinum, ruby, diamond and above are the ones that can handle adversity, they can handle pressure, they can handle challenges, they can handle rejection. Those are the ones that when they keep going, they make it to the top. Because everybody's going to take a punch, but how long you stay down, you're the only person that can decide that. Unfortunately, this friend of mine, even though I offered her an opportunity, she was paying her monthly fees for many years. Even though we're the same age, she's never been able to essentially build something of her own. She's now 46 years old, still living on benefits, raising a little boy as a single mom. She's got three kids, a little boy that's three years old. I love her to bits, but you know what I realized somewhere along the way? I couldn't help her because I was trying to help her more than she was trying to help herself. And this is the thing about this business, guys. Through this business, you're going to meet a lot of people that will be at the right place at the right time. They got this amazing opportunity right there in front of them. But when push comes to shove and they hit a challenge, they choose the path of least resistance. They choose the easy path. But the one thing you gotta remember is that there is no such thing as easy. If you choose what's easy now, your life will be hard later. If you choose the hard path now, your life, will be easy later. One way or another, you got to go through the hard season. You just got to choose how, how long that season is going to be. So I want to finish off with this. You guys heard a bunch of information. You heard so many gold nuggets. You heard from Troy Brown, essentially 2023, guys, I believe is going to be the, de the year that sets the decade that follows into huge momentum for Secret. That's what I feel. We've been working like crazy with Melanie. We said to ourselves that when we start a secret, we know it takes three years to build something rock solid. First year, you're just trying to find your feet. Second year, you're really beginning to get a little bit of traction. But the third year is the magic because now you know what you're doing. You're starting to get some leadership. You solidify the leadership and then you just keep adding the levels. This year, 2023, is going into that magical third year. A lot of people are asking us, no days off, like half a day off is the maximum that we normally take. Why are we working so hard? It's because we know what's about to happen. Do we still feel like we're not working hard enough? You know why? Because the only person that knows whether there's another level inside you or not is you. I know inside me, there's another level. I know that when sometimes it gets to a point and I'm like, Sunday night, I'm tired, haven't had any time off. But you know what? I keep saying to myself, is this all you have or can you raise it another level? And if the answer is yes and I can raise it another level, you know what I do? I raise it another level. I'm not perfect. I'm not going to sit there and tell you I raise it another level every time. There are times that I also choose the path of least resistance. There are times that I go, you know what? Let me take half a day off. Let me do this. I'm not going to say I'm perfect. Nobody is perfect. The only difference is that I may do it once, but the next day I get back on the horse and I do it again. You can choose the path of least resistance for a short period, but your habits create your life. Whether you have successful habits will create a successful life. Whether you have the habits of unsuccessful people, that's what's going to give you an unsuccessful life. So choose that path, guys. Take two or three gold nuggets that you learned from today 
put them into application this week. We've got literally what, 18 days left of 2022. How do you wanna finish this year? How do you wanna finish the year? Do you wanna finish the year just like everybody else? Wishing it almost away, going, I'll make better decisions next year? Or do you want to finish the year choosing the path of more resistance so you can enjoy your life much more 2023 and 2024, 2025 onwards? Playbook is literally around the corner. This week, we're going to be announcing an escape before Playbook, Wednesday to Friday in the center of Venice. It's carnival season. It's going to be crazy. So make sure if you haven't booked your flights, book your flights from Wednesday if you want to come and join us on the escape. There will be only a small amount of rooms. Okay, so they're going to go quickly. I'm going to be there. Melon is going to be there. Eddie Head's going to be there. Jesse McPherson's going to be there. I know a bunch of people from Africa are coming as well. Okay, so Wednesday to Friday, Secret Escape. Stay tuned. It's going to get released this week. That's number one. Number two. We've locked and loaded the venue for Playbook. It's a great venue. It's a little bit outside of Venice. It's about 25 minutes from Venice. So my recommendation, if you book the accommodation, make sure you book accommodation that is refundable because you're probably going to want to change your accommodation when we release the venue. So you're close to the venue. It's going to be at a hotel. We're going to do a deal for the hotel as well. So you can stay on site if you choose to. I always believe proximity is power. It's always the talks, the conversations you're gonna have in the breakfast with a leader that you didn't know was gonna be there, but all of a sudden they're there and you get to have a five minute conversation with them outside of the room, ask them some advice, pick their brain a little bit. That's where the magic happens. Not just at the event, but all around the event. Guys, I'm super excited for what's about to happen. This is our last Super Sunday for the year. Finish the month strong. We've got great promotions right now. It's your last chance. If you've never qualified for Rockstar, why don't you finish the year qualifying for Rockstar and getting a getaway? What a great way to create a beautiful story so you can share while everybody's toasting around the new year, talking about, oh, I'm so glad this year is over. Next year is going to be better. Why don't you be the person that toasts going, well, I can't believe it. Just this month alone, I qualified for a, for a trip <laughs> just because I took some action and I shared an amazing gift with some friends. I bet you a bunch of them are going to be going, how did you do that? Or like, I'll tell you after Christmas. Okay. Have the conversations that create curiosity because you're choosing the path with, with higher resistance. And sooner or later, you're going to be able to enjoy the life that most people will never get a chance to enjoy because they always choose the path of least resistance. Choosing the path of least resistance, guys, will never give you pride. Make yourselves proud. Have an amazing week. All the best for the festive season. See you in Venice.